Hey everybody, how we doing? <laughs> Happy Tuesday, welcome to stream. Glad to have you here. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Man, there was a lot of people here early today. I can't believe that. That's so kind of you guys to come hang out. <laughs> Who'd I see here? Dash, Blobfish, The Log, Dead Gold, Christian, Koru, Slade, Ironic, Wingless, Justin, Nobu, RK, Cohen, Amelia, Salboy, Soundwave. Good to see you guys. Thanks for being here. Super kind of you guys to hang out with me today. Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. The weekend is over. We're almost to hump day. Let me help you get through your week a little bit. My headphones are falling off. Here we go. Hey, Harper, how we doing? Good to have you here. You guys ready for another extinction stream? Yes, dude, we're cutting the tails off everything. It's going to happen. I think last stream we left off on 26 tails cut, which is insane. We're we're crushing this challenge. I was talking to my wife the other night and she's like, Tails, are you gonna actually get all the tails cut off on this challenge? I said, I think I'm gonna. This is the first challenge that it's happened where I feel like I'm actually gonna get there. I think it's gonna happen. <laughs> we'll see what we'll see what happens, obviously, but I am uh I'm feeling like it's gonna happen. All right. Hey, Dash, how we doing? Hey, semicolon. Good to have you here. Chicken Food Explorer. Good to have you here. Catch the stream. That's rare. I'm glad you made it. Glad you made it. Doing good ahead of the game today. Might get off early. Nice. Nice. Glad to hear. What's next? Well, next up, we got to go to the Guiding Lands. See if we can cut out some more tails. We're in this uh, quandary right now. I've got a lot of tails cut. Let me, let me back up a little bit further for those who are new to stream. So if you're new to stream, hi, I'm Tails. <laughs> I run Giddy Fox Gaming. I'm doing a challenge with 100 hours with the Switch Axe. The goal is to cut off every tail of every monster in the game after I beat the two campaigns, and I have to cut off all the tails in the Guiding Lands. And that's where I'm at right now. The hard part about cutting the tails off of monsters in the Guiding Lands is that I have to spawn the monsters in the Guiding Lands. That means I have to level up all the regions in the Guiding Lands to get all the like Elder Dragons and all that stuff to spawn. So the goal right now, we have a lot of tails cut, but it's not going to keep going at the same pace as we started with tail cuts because I've gotten a lot of the early monsters done. I have to get the later monsters now, and the way to get the later monsters is to level up the Guiding Lands regions beyond level 4 or 5. We're also at a, a cap right now. We can only get up to level 5 max in the Guiding Lands because of our master rank level. So I got to get that leveled up as well. So we got a little bit of a grind going on right now to unlock more Guiding Lands region levels, uh, but we're going to get lucky as we do the grind of getting monsters that spawn in that I haven't got the tails off of yet. I've done a bunch of the quest only monsters already, so we're kind of in the Guiding Lands for a little while. And then once we get most of them done, then the grind becomes get to master rank 99 so I can unlock, uh, what's his face? Runer Nergigante <laughs> to get his tail and then a Latrion. So. That's what we're doing today. We'll see what happens here. Dash, you're in the ER watching the stream. Holy cats, I hope you're okay. Jeez Louise, that's scary. Poor monster. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Tired, how you doing? How am I doing? I'm doing great. I'm doing really good. Didn't sleep well last night, unfortunately. I was just too ready for today. You know, I just, I feel fine. I got my coffee already started. We're doing great. Get the energy going. 
I got my sister's birthday party tonight, so I've got to leave later today for that. That's going to be fun. She doesn't know either. It's a surprise. So unless she's watching stream, she doesn't know about it. It's going to be a, a fun time. And I'm ready to cut off tails. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. I feel it's going to be even faster when you do the great sword because it's probably one of the best tail cutting options. We'll see. We'll see. I could see that happening. This mic is in the way. Let me move this quick. Yeah, I could see Greatsword being huge. It's mostly going to come down to how efficient am I with the weapon because I got to be able to do fights fast and like get through the, the fights quickly. That's what's going to make the challenges faster. The actual part of cutting the tail off the monster is not that big of a deal. It's pretty easy going. <laughs> He's a do lover. Oh, yeah, dude. Some would say that my my blood is green. <laughs> also, hi, Axe. Good to have you here. Happy birthday to your sister. I'll let her know you said so. Okay, the log. <laughs> You always have a full fatty armor set? Congratulations, I've got one fatty armor piece. That's it. <laughs> Blobfish doesn't it still have school today? Well, I hope it goes fast, Blobfish. Blobfish, I'm looking forward to doing some Minecraft with you, friend. I've been really busy this weekend, so I haven't been able to make it. But once I get caught up, I'm pumped. I can't wait. <laughs> Quick question. I'm playing Iceborne, and I have to fight the Tigrex. I have a Glavinous armor set with a longsword. So am I good, or should I get another armor set? Depends if you're surviving the attacks from Tigrex. If Tigrex is hitting you too hard, you're dying in like two shots, then get an armor upgrade. If you're doing fine against it, then you just gotta do some more dodging. You'll be all right. All right, chat. Here we go. <laughs> hey, Ghost of Toast. Made it in here. All right, let's get you guys a session ID. And then I'll get into our camera here. And we'll get started. Here's the session ID for today. We might be able to be playing a few missions together today because we gotta we've got to do some uh, Master Inc. All right, look at this crew. Ironic was here like a long time ago. Thanks for hanging, Ironic. <laughs> okay, well, let me top off my mushrooms quick and get my little chores done here and we'll get started. And we'll see what's in the guiding lands. That's the first thing we gotta do. I have a Google Doc that has all of the tails in the game listed and I keep a little check mark tally thing on it to show if I've cut the tail off that monster yet or not. I'll put that in chat here in just a second. Let me get all my chores done on this quick. Hey, DJ, how we doing? Good to have you here. Hope everything's well. Things are going fantastic. We're just getting started. The day's been great. It's been very well. All right, guiding lands. Dude, I got some stories for you guys today too. No new tails to cut there. We're at MR56. We need to get to MR69 so that we can unlock the next region level. We could do that by doing quests, but the thing we're gonna do first is just do some Guiding Lands fights so that I can get the Guiding Lands levels moved up. We also have a lure for a seeding basil goose that we're gonna use so we can take that thing on. Um, I was gonna get you a Google Doc. Let me get the link for the Google Doc quick if you're interested in following along with the journey. Also, the title of this stream is starting at hour 54. I just want to let you guys know that we are on hour 54. We have 46 hours left to get the rest of the tails cut. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> now, we're not gonna be able to get every region up to level five here, nor do we, I mean, we would like to, but really right now we need to get our master rank up higher because I. It's really hard to level up all the regions of the Guided Lands all at once, so I want to get one region done, then do another region. And thankfully, the last monster that we need to get the tail from in the volcanic region is Seething Basil Goose. And I have a lure for it. So we're going to go use our lure and get that tail right now. Then we don't have to worry about leveling down the Wild Spire Waste. Not the Wild Spire, the Elder's Recess region. Let's do that. Lure out monster and we'll get Seething Basil Goose to start. There we are. This will be a great way to start stream. Go against our mascot. <laughs> I walked, Doc walked in what I miss. Hey, Dash. Dash, I hope you're doing okay, friend. Being in the ER is uh, a scary prospect. We're just getting into the Guided Lands. We're gonna go cut off the tail of a Seething Basil Goose see what happens here. Because yesterday I was grinding the Guiding Lands to get a Wild Spire level six, and after four hours, I'm still halfway through level four. Oh, geez. Yeah, the Guiding Lands, if you don't like focus in on leveling, it can take a really long time. The best way to level the Guiding Lands is to pick monsters that only spawn in those regions. So if you're doing the Wild Spire Ways, like fighting Diabolus a bunch, or Black Diabolus a bunch, would get you a lot of levels quickly. 
And also collect all the footsteps of all the monsters in those regions. That makes a big difference. Okay. Um, let's go down here. Yeah. And I need to... I got my computer messed up here. Here we go. Okay, we're good. What's the best weapon in your opinion? I'm not sure. I haven't used them all. My best weapon, the one I enjoy the most, is the dual blades. But I've only played four weapons. I don't really know how the other weapons work. I can't give you a, a perfect picture on that yet. <laughs> all right. Spam hunted bear off. Water positive are the call. Good for him. Part of There you go. That works. Yep, that works. All right, seething basil goose. I gotta take you down. And by that, I mean, I just need your tail for sure, but we're gonna take you down afterwards. <laughs> Let's get this thing softened. This thing does a whole bunch of charge attacks and it's a big pain in the butt. But we're gonna try to make this quick. We'll see what happens there. And we also need to make sure we get the tail before it runs away if we don't kill it. We don't have to kill it for the challenge. We have to just get the tail cut, but we don't leave battles early. We never cut the tail off and then just run away. We go until the battle's over. The battle may be over because I slayed the monster or captured it. The battle also might be over because it took too long. <laughs> and the monster left the locale. But we have to get the tail before that happens because I don't have another lure for this. So we're gonna focus pretty hard on it. See what happens. Whoop. Ooh, that was nice. Got a little chop chop there. All right, I want to wait for him to get mad before I do some more mountain attacks. Let's just go for some biggies. Big tail hits. Hip check. Ooh. There we are. Oh, boy. Okay, big dodge. Big dodge. Look how tall this thing is. Is this like a gold crown? This thing's huge. It's so big. It looks really big to me. I don't know if it looks big to you guys or not. It looks huge. All right, let's see if we can throw in a wall in here. Ooh. All right, tail cut time, maybe? Can we get it here? Nope. It's on the ground too short of a time. Ow! <laughs> All right, we'll dodge that. We're gonna eat a mushroom. And then we'll get over here. Yeah. Oh, that's another big kill whack. There we go. Upsy daisy of going skyward. Oh, we missed the skyward. We also need to get our park break move taken care of here. So if I do this, yeah, that's a big one. We might not get it here. Nope. <laughs> ARC3, welcome to stream. Good to have you here. You love using the swag charge blade and blade. They're all pretty good. I haven't used them all, but I've heard good things about all of them, so I'm sure they're fun. The insect is the only one I haven't used on it. The other two are a good time. I've gotten I've gotten a little bit more fondness for the charge blade. There's a while where I wasn't a big fan, um, but I've learned a lot. Oh yes, I've learned a lot about it, and it's changed my opinion a lot. Kind of, I, I think taking a break from the charge blade for a bit and then coming back to it has changed my mind. Ah, that hurt. All right. Hey, Ocelot, what's up, dude? Good to have you here, man. Hope things are going well. You working today, Ocelot? It's Tuesday. I assume I assume you are. Ow! Don't you do it. Ah! You are? Okay, all right. I'll keep you company while you work then today, Ocelot. <laughs> all right, here we go. Heartbreak, yes. Now we go heavenward. Come on. Oh, all right, it's a big hit, it's a big hit. I'm waiting to do the mount attack till he gets angry. Which is kind of changing my play style a little bit here because normally I'm just, I'd be whacking this thing in the sky constantly. But we're gonna, oh, three tail whack. Basil, you okay? I think Basil was having a stroke there. <laughs> all right, we gotta use another one of these. Let's oh, leave it. All right, that's fine. I can leave. I mean, that was a pretty, pretty, you know, tame first round with Basil. It really didn't do much, which is all right. All right. 
Let's grab, I gotta grab this uh, Mandragora real quick, and then we'll go get him. This way. When you start over, do you remake the same character? Yes. I play my same Tails character with the same punchy Calico every time. It's my persona, you know? I don't want to remake my main account, and so I want to keep playing my main character on each one and kind of tell the story of, like, how I learned all the weapons, even though I'm remaking new accounts each time. That one hurt. That's kind of the idea behind it, anyways. All right, let's kick this toad, see if we can get him to sleep here. Nope. Dude, this thing is like, he's huge. How many tails are we at? I think we're at 26. I think we're at 26. We're at a lot, 26 out of 45. It's something like that. It's really close to that if, the, if it's not 26. All right, you turd. Now, now it's getting annoying. <laughs> Good job, Punchy. Good job. All right, now we can do the mount here. I'm gonna hit me, isn't it? It didn't. Woo! <laughs> Good dodge, Tails. Good dodge. <laughs> Soften here. There we go. Let's jump on it again. We'll take a leg this time. Leg. Bomb incoming. There it is. The bomb hit me too, I guess. Mount. Ugh. Come on, Mount. There we go. We got the tail. That's what counts. Woo, baby. That's nice. That's nice. What a great way to start stream, huh? Seething Basil Goose tail cut. And Punchy got the stun here. Fantastic. Fantastic. Oh, that feels so good, man. I'm pumped. Another one off the list. All right, now we just got to put this thing down. No big deal. Woo. That's great. Zero sum this guy. Oh, that's big bombs. Oh, man. That was a lot. <laughs> All right, here we go. Poor Basil is forced to live a tailless life. Yep, just for a little bit. <laughs> the world's cruel sometimes, you know? Another way to look at it, though, is I'm just marking the monsters, you know? For scientific study, we have to know what monsters are what, so I have to take their tail off. Kind of like how you put little tags in, the, in animal ears. <laughs> That was a great knockdown. Inches! Get me up there! Here we go. Oh my gosh. Wrecked. Got wrecked. Am I enjoying the swags? I love it. Yeah, it's really fun. I think part of the reason I love it is because I'm doing so quickly in this challenge. I might be a little biased that way. We'll see how it goes against like the really tough guys. So that's where this challenge goes to next, is the really tough monsters in the Guiding Lands. My opinion might change then, but so far it's awesome. It's a very stylized weapon, and I like the I like the stylish feeling it gives you, you know? I guess that you can start the Basil Goose is really sheathing. Yeah. <laughs> he is very seething right now, for sure. <laughs> we gave him something to be mad about. There it is. There it is. We knock it over, nice. Oh, I got poison. You leaving? All right, see you. All right, let's grab this antidote quick, then we'll be all right. Whoop. Antidote drink, where are you? There you are. Carve this tail. It's a DPS machine. That's one of the reasons why I like it. I just, I've always, I don't know if always is the right word. Recently, as in the last like five, six years, 
every weapon I play in any game, I just want to be the DPS. I enjoy it a lot. I used to play tanks all the time, and now I don't play them as much. I just, I like getting in there and chopping things up. It's fun. I'm going the wrong way. So that's probably a reason why I like the Swax as well. The Charge Blade does a ton of damage when you get the chance to do the damage, but a lot of times you're trying to like be in the face and block damage. And that's a different feel for me versus like taking the dual blades out, and chopping things up. <laughs> favorite monster from any of the games? The only game I've played is World, and my favorite monster is Anjanath. I like Anjanath a lot. I voted for it in the Capcom vote results. Have you guys been seeing those on Twitter, by the way? They're released in the top 20. I think today they released number 16, and that was Safi Jiva got number 16. It's pretty cool. Yesterday was Bracadios, number 17. I don't know if Angie's gonna make top 20, but I would love if it did. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Probably won't. Woo! That's a bomb. Come on, dude! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're good. Woo! That was close. That wasn't close. I gotta hit that time. Last year better be top five. We'll see. We'll see. There's a lot of controversy around last year. I don't know what's gonna happen there. <laughs> Surprise Tsunami on the list. I was too, actually. Like, I'm glad. I'm glad Namiel made it on there because I think it's a great monster, but I didn't think people liked it that much for how much love it got in World, you know? Oh, yeah. Go for another one here. Yeah, furs. All right. Pretty good there. Oh, that's nice. Oh, give me there. Okay, we're good. Oh, I have manual reloaded like a dingus. Cost me damage. Stinky. That's all right. Did Valstrax get picked already? Uh, yes, it was number 20. One of the Valstrax was. It was number 20. And then I said Bracadios already, yeah. Not surprised that Bracadios was on the list, but I think a lot of people were surprised that it was number 17 and not like number seven or something. <laughs> it's kind of funny. <gasps> you hope Safi would score higher? I think it did all right, honestly. I think, I think it's in a good spot. Come here, buddy. In we go. Or not. <laughs> oh, yeah! Big dodge. Come here, turkey. Can we trip him? Didn't get the boom. Bummer. <laughs> yeah, if you haven't seen the list, they're, put, they're putting out a result every day between now and the uh they're doing a big live stream on the 20th of march for the 20th anniversary of monster hunter that's on a tuesday y'all the 20th is uh oh are we dead nope close though the 20th of march is on a tuesday for that stream that they're doing it's at 6 a.m my time which is really early but i'm considering starting stream at 6 a.m that day so we can watch that live stream together here. And then see if we can do the 100 hour challenge after that for a little bit. I might do that. Did Nergi score yet? Nope, nope, not yet. You have to wear a boot for six to eight weeks. Uh-oh. What'd you do? Did you break your foot? Please, Louise. Rage of Aki will probably be higher up. We'll see, yeah, we'll see. I'm not sure where that's gonna happen. Yeah, there's no wild stuff on the 20th, unfortunately. 
It's just gonna be just 20th anniversary stuff for Monster Hunter series. I mean, they could, they could, they could end up changing their plan and drop some wild stuff, maybe. But I highly doubt. It. I think the next stuff for wilds is gonna be the summer, is what I remember from the Game Awards. Which y'all, summer's almost here. Honestly, we're we're in March right now. We got three months till summer. Get some wilds information here in 90 days. Not bad. Oh, that's the wrong button. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Right. Woohoo! Nuke time! Boom, baby! Oh, you you so big and glowy. And then I'm gonna embarrass you and throw, throw you into a shock trap. That's what I meant to say, yeah. Into a shock trap. <laughs> <laughs> that was awkward. <laughs> Come on, baby. Give me the opening. I need I need it. yeah, this will work. I need to throw you into a wall, dude. Yeah, that's right. Turn around. Boom. I'll take it. Two hundred and fifty-five damage on that face attack. Holy oh, man, that's that's stonks damage right there. Oh yeah. I want to soften his leg. Yeah, let's do that. Have any more monster agents come to get punchy? Not yet. It's been kind of quiet for secret agents so far, which is good. We've been trying to lie low a little bit. A hundred monsters in the Guiding Lands. Is quite a big feat you know and so after you take out the hundred you gotta you gotta give time for the ecosystem to, to rebuild you know the goal isn't to completely eradicate monsters it's just a it's like hunting deer you know you gotta keep the population in check that's all <laughs> oh my god all right grab one of these Oh, golly. That hit me, huh? Alright, let's do a zero something. That'll do. Oh, yeah. Stay here, stay here, stay here. Oh, or not. Okay, let's leave. That's fine, we'll go cap him. Nice! What a great way to start the stream, y'all. Great way to start the day. Get a nice basil tail cut. And a successful hunt against it. That's so nice. Love when that happens. Hey, Lamax, how we doing? Good to have you here. Hope your day's been good so far. Thank you. It has been. This is our first hunt of the day. Are we able to cut the tail off of Basil, which is great? We're gonna go cap it now, and then we'll see what we can level up in the Guidelands next. Glad you're doing well. Hey, Win. Win, welcome back to stream. Good, good to have you here. Thanks for hanging. I'm, a, I'm not afraid to pull the files up on your case. Nah, no need, Ocelot. I, nothing's been happening. It's all good. <laughs> Can't hear you since I'm at school. Okay, I'll wave at you. I'll wave at you instead. <laughs> Had difficulties against Lunastra yesterday. Like the earlier today. Gotcha. Lunastra's pretty tough anyways. I feel for you. Lunastra's tough, yep. Yeah. Um, Thunderbug for Punchy, he can take the capture. I'll take the Devil's Blade. Wonderful! Woohoo, baby! That's a good one to get off the list. Let's run back to camp and report, then I'll check it off my list. We'll go from there. See, the base has been captured with the tail severed, no less. True that. And the, the really big benefit of that is that we don't have to level up the Elder's Recess region anymore. That's our last monster we need a tail from from the Elder's Re Recess region. Good news. Okay, it was a large one. It wasn't gold crown, but it was a large one. I knew it looked pretty big. Okay, Seething Basil's off the list. That puts us at 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 
21, 22, 23, 24, 25. That was number 26. Perfect. 26 down. All right, let's see if we got any more lures that we can use for tails we don't have yet. We've got all these. Do we have a dogger on? Let's see. We don't have a dogger on. Heck yeah, dude. Okay, and then do we want to level up the rotted region or the coral region? Let's do the rotted region. So we'll get this guy and get another one off the list. Okay, now we'll go this here. I want to do it without Iceborne stuff, so I didn't activate Iceborne, nor did I use the Clutch Claw for Lunastra. I mean, that's how the game was originally designed until you got Iceborne, so it's possible to get done, but it is not an easy hunt, that's for sure. I feel you there. <laughs> All right. Do we, we don't need to eat now. We just need to go to Odagra. Way over halfway. Oh, yeah, we're crushing it. Yeah, and like I said, it's not linear progression right now. It's going to slow down because we're getting to the point where we need to spawn in the tougher monsters. But it's going very well, especially at the point of the uh, challenge that we're in so far. We're crushing it speed-wise. Okay, that and this, and then we're going to fight a pupper. Come here, pupper. Good to see you, man. <laughs> Throw you right into a wall. <laughs> All right, get the tail there. And then we're gonna go for the old wild swing into heavy slam. There it is. So if we do, that gives us extra part break. That's why we do that. Ooh, that's fine. Ooh, baby. Oh, baby. Yeah. That's a good start. Oh, give me that. Okay. Gosh. Yeah. Oh, I manualed it. Unbelievable tails. Oh my gosh, I missed all of those. Uh, what in the world? Okay, I made it again. Well, we're showing off how much skill we have with this weapon right now. Jeez Louise. <laughs> nice job, Punchy. That was great. Oh, ho, ho, ho! see ya, tail! 27 maybe 27 great stuff great stuff oh my gosh we're doing it y'all we're doing it all right well i'll just carve this guy quick <laughs> all right win take it easy thanks for hanging been working on getting gold silver crowns from my monster achievements nice that's a big grind that's a big one it's gonna take some time but you got this AI Tails, good to see the webcam. Yeah, man, how we doing? Good to have you here. Nice to meet you face to face now. <laughs> Hope you're having a good day. Made to be played that way since I bought the two screens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, what a mount. That was great. Oh, what a shock trap. That's also great. Yeah, you can play it however you want to. It's fun. Good time. Trying to find out what the dog do. What the dog doing? He dying mostly. We doxed his tail already. <laughs> now we're giving him some new nostrils. <laughs> oh, I watched the underrated skills video. You make me, you made it and I've, wait, and I love Mushroom Answer. There you go, there you go. Okay, now I got it. Yeah, dude, Mush Mushroom Answer is incredible. I think it's like the best skill in the game, honestly. It's so good. Woo -hoo -hoo. We're doing it. How about another one? Or not, or not. That's fine. That's fine. All right. Let's do that. Oh. Wrong way. There we go. Oh, he tired. 
Boom. One more? Yeah. There we go. Oh, we are just absolutely crushing this guy, by the way. He's almost dead. We just started this hunt. <laughs> Won't be in chat as much today for the next story because I'm making a bunch of food right now for the household. Nice. That's nice of you to do that. No worries on not being on chat as much. It's not a big deal. I'm just glad you're here. It makes me happy. I like hanging with my friends, you know. <laughs> Alright, let's eat some food. Do some swinging. Booyah! Kaboom. Kaboosh. Oh! Alright, we reloaded. That's fine. Uh-oh. I'm gonna take that one to the face. Alright, there's this. Whoop. Dodge. Keep dodging until he slows down. You only get one attack. Oi! Throw another blind on him here, I guess. There we go, that'll work. Gotta get our wild swing going. Heavy slam. There it is. Now we can counterattack. Wonderful. Heavenward. Whee! And latch. And boom. <laughs> Alright, we'll heal him. Ah! That one hurt. <laughs> oh! He mad. He leaving. <laughs> not bad. Not bad. Good round. Ooh, a double split. Nice. All right, let me sharpen quick. Let's go. Right now, I want to watch the charge blade video though. Get in there. It's a good video. <laughs> my my first filmed challenge. That was a fun time. Gotta get to world after a long break. Gonna come back and help the. Growing community, welcome back, Mighty. Welcome back. Welcome to the Fifth Fleet again. It's a good game to be playing. It, it's held up super well over six years, you know? Oh, boy. Oh, my gosh. The double claw attack there. Let's try again. I'm going to kick this toad, see if we can get something out of this. Come here, you. Nope. Fourth shot. Oh, we didn't get it. Woo, I knew it. All playing. <laughs> oh my. Oh my, that's fine. Michael, how we doing? Did I check out Last Epoch yet? Not yet. Not yet. Thanks for the reminder, though. I'll get around to it. I have had just the most incredible, like, incredibly busy is the right words. Such a busy last, like, eight days. And it's not ending for another like six days before I get a, a little break. I've got so much stuff going on right now, it's just nutty. It's all fun and good, you know, it's stuff I wanna do or stuff I have to do, but I don't have time for extra stuff, so. I will get around to it though. G Dot, how we doing? Good to have you here, thanks for hanging. Tried the Switch chest last few days, it's not clicking for me right now. Give it some time, yeah. Once you get the combos figured out, the sword combos is what changed the the whole game for me. Once I learned how the sword combos work, it got a lot better. Oh yeah. And now we're gonna do this. And then we're gonna do this. And then we're gonna throw you into a wall. Boom. And then we're gonna get poisoned probably. Or not, that's good. Come on, get in there. Oh, huge. Oh, another knockdown. Hey dog, you dead yet? You dead yet? You about done? Oh yeah, he's almost done. All right. Woo, okay. Nice punch, you light him up. Oh, I dodged the wrong way. All right, he limping, that's good. All right, we'll go capture this dog. 
Man, that was a good hunt. That was a really good hunt. Holy cows. We lit that guy up. He did not stand a chance at all. Not even a little bit. Let's go find where he's gonna lay his final head. Headrest. We'll go cap him. Hey, Gunner, how we doing? Blackout, good to see you too. Good to have y'all. Thanks for being here. Coming to stream and immediately charge the ax. This does put a smile on my face. You're welcome, dude. You're welcome. I've been doing it a lot, actually. The extra part breaker has been so helpful. I don't have any part breaker decorations, unfortunately. And so I've had to use the charged axe part to help me out with that. It's been good. <laughs> All right, let's sleep this guy and then we'll let Punchy capture him. Best type of sl slinger ammo? Hmm. I like piercing pods, they're good. Piercing pods are really strong, not just damage wise, but they also stop monsters in their tracks when they're doing stuff, which is great. I do enjoy that. All right. Well, that takes care of that guy. Let's go back to camp. Oops, somebody called me. Who is it? Nobody I know. All right. We're gonna report this. Whoop. And get a good gem, maybe? Eh? I'm in your constitution, nope. Okay, slugger's okay, but we won't use this guy. That's 27. 27. Okay, we got this leveled up, which is great, and we need the coral region leveled up too. Odagron lures are gonna be really good for us if we can get some, but we won't, I mean, we're not gonna build any. That's not part of the challenge. I'm just looking at my list right now to see what else we have to do. A lot of stuff's in the rotten fail. So we'll probably stick to that for a little bit here. We need to get the forest region to five as well, I think, which we might have. Let me double check. Yeah, we've got forest and elders recess to five. It's gonna be really hard to get more of these leveled up at the same time, because I start losing levels in in regions. I don't mind if we lose them in the Elders Recess, but we need to get, or we need to keep Ancient Forest at level five. That's a big thing. I think what we're gonna do now though, is get this MR leveled up a little bit. Um, so chat, I'm gonna, if you guys wanna hunt with me, feel free to join me. I know this is kind of early going, but I, I think getting the region level cap taken care of is the best route right now. How many tails have I cut off? That was number 27. 27. Going very good. Okay. We are going to stock these up. Chat, there's a session ID pinned to the top of the comments right now. If you guys want to join me, I'm going to fight some chickens. We're going to do some chicken fighting. I'm going to take care of all these resource bounties and all that stuff while you guys are jumping in. But if you guys want to do some colorful carnival with me, and we can do some master rank increasing. And what we'll do is we'll cycle between the guiding lands and the colorful carnival so that I can get uh, a new batch of monsters showing up in the guiding lands. See if there's a tail I can cut off. So we already have all three of these monsters. So instead I'm gonna fire up the colorful carnival <laughs> quest. You've been working hard out there. And we've got it in here. Right? There it is. All right. There it is. Feel free to join me if you'd like. I don't need Moxie, we'll do this one. Try to go with Furious Rajang's Charred Blade. Nice. Fuse charge blade is stinking OP. You should build it for Fox. Maybe, yeah, maybe. <laughs> I'm gonna start this quest. If you guys wanna join me, feel free to jump in, okay? The menu that I'm making right now should last for a week or two. Barbecue pulled chicken, my own homemade mac and cheese and cheeseburgers. Yum. Super yummy. That sounds delicious. I would eat all of that. <laughs> The Furious One's elemental? Yes, it's got the Thunder element. Good stuff. Blackout made a random quest wheel for us the other night. We spun and went in to set quests with no armor and high rank, master rank weapons respectively. It was a blast to get to try it. Sounds fun? I'd love that. That'd be a great time. What a good idea. All right, let's, let's crush some birds. I, uh, 
Oh my gosh, the double whammy. I'm so good. Um, yesterday, y'all, I had a Discord call with the man, the myth, the legend himself, Skoy Skull. Do you guys know Skoy Skull on YouTube by chance? Skoy Skull's been doing Monster Hunter World stuff for a long time. Doing a little bit with Monster Hunter 1 and Frontiers right now. And he and I got to have a phone or a Discord call yesterday. And we're gonna do a little a little video or two together. It'll be pretty fun. He's got a similar idea to the random wheel with random quest thing. I won't spoil it, but it reminded me of that idea when you set it off slot. Oopsie. Alright, we're good. Grab this. How do you spell that? S K O J S K U L L. It's got some Swede words in it. And it's very, very good. He's a great guy, by the way, if y'all haven't watched Skoy Skull. He's been doing YouTube for Monster Hunter for like 10 years. It's a long time. Uh, he's very, very fun. He's got like a really easygoing attitude, which I really enjoy. We had a great conversation. Speak of the devil, I know, right? That's the crazy part. <laughs> that also reminds me too, Ocelot, you were asking about my collab with Alex Sucks at Gaming. I'm still trying to work things out with him because he's doing a lot of Warframe stuff right now. I don't know if he's really doing Monster Hunter stuff anytime soon. So I got to work out a plan to see what we can do because it might be that I just need to do a collab with him where I play Warframe on his channel. I wouldn't put a video up on my channel, but I maybe would do stuff with him. So we'll see here. But really should we land on Arch Temper Lunastra and that quest didn't last five minutes? Oh jeez. <laughs> Sounds awful. Oh get rid of it. Alright, we got that guy. Okay. This one like that. Yeah. And then we can soften this. Skoy equals fun. Yep. Like laughter is what he was getting at. Boom. One of the best builds I made was a gold Rathian armor with max divine blessing, max attack boost, crit iron. You need pulse, beta, grease, and boom. You almost never die. Nice. Makes sense to me. Sounds pretty similar to what I did for Fatalis. I like it. Funnel after, yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, yep, yeah, that's what uh, that's what Skoy was telling me yesterday when we were on the phone or on the Discord. I keep calling Discord phone. I I talk to people more on Discord than I do on the telephone nowadays. <laughs> hey, welcome, Laduel, for joining me on this quest. Quest is open for anybody who wants to join it, feel free. Session ID is up at the top of chat. We're just taking out some chickens. We're happy to have you here. Oh, oh man. <laughs> All right. We'll carvey carve here. Here we go. Doc and I were drunk, oh boy. He's doing his first Fatalis run. It was stupidly fun at 3 in the morning. Jeez. <laughs> That's awesome. Don't we all do that anyway? For what? Use Discord instead of telephones? I, I think that a lot of people who watch live streams on YouTube, that might be true. I don't know if that's true for most people, though. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't think most people use Discord over telephones. I think a lot of people use Zoom over telephones, but I think more likely they're using Zoom on their telephone. <laughs> yeah, I think we've got a a thing just with like gamers use Discord more than phones, which like I'm I'm fine with that. You know, I like I like just using Discord. It's telephones freak me out, man. I don't like taking phone calls. <laughs> I know people in their 40s who only use Discord. Yep. I'm pretty close to that, actually. 
Turn 34 next month, y'all. Next month is my kick day. Hi, you remember a Discord guy named Dota Gamma? That's me. Have a nice hunt. Try to hunt Raging, Raging Brachidios. I think today is going to be successful. Nice. Of course I remember you, Dota Gamma. It's been a while. I miss you. Hope things are going well. Thanks for swinging by today. Good to have you here. Really like your time, like your streams that were bots. Well, thanks, man. Thank you. Nice to see you. Oh, we got a whole party now. Welcome. Welcome, hunters, to this to this uh, chicken slain contest. <laughs> Watch your back, Dota Gama. Tail's close behind. <laughs> Coming for that tail. <laughs> Woo! Boy, okay. My last job over COVID switched to a company Discord server for IRL means. Wow! That's crazy. That's crazy. I had I had a job with lots of meetings as well, but the people I worked with were all older than I was by quite a bit. So Discord was like super scary for them. So they, they were not interested. So we used Zoom, which was annoying because we didn't have a company Zoom with unlimited Zoom meeting time. So we had to keep remaking calls every 40 minutes, which when you're doing work meetings, they're always longer than 40 minutes. It's, it's silly. So we always have issues. Like getting people to move over to the next call and things that take forever to walk the things over there. Oh my god. <laughs> Good times. A profile picture on Discord is Dota Gamma. Nice. <laughs> That's awesome. Whoops. Down with you. Nice work, everybody. You'll watch your back. Good. Good choice. Coming for that tail. <laughs> Who here loves Dota Gamma? And if you do, you clearly haven't met Alex at Games. <laughs> Guess not. Dota Gamma's like overrated in my opinion. That's how you start fights in Monster Hunter, by the way. You say bad things about Dota Gamma. <laughs> And have a quick 30 minute catch up followed by two more meetings all of which run late yep <laughs> yep and and it's weird for me too because i like meetings i love meetings but i like meetings that actually means they, they gotta have a reason and we do the reason i love meeting with people and talking about stuff and making plans and all that but if there's no rhyme or reason and we're just like dinking around that's where it, i run out of steam for them you know Anyways, well, chat, I hope you're having a fantastic Tuesday. Thanks for hanging out with me here. It means a lot. Good to have you. Ooh, okay. That's, I knew this was too far right. All right, let's go get him. And we're gonna take this guy out. Hey guys, we're gonna run over to the Dragonator, okay? Come Dragonate with me. Hope your Tuesday's going well too. Well, thanks, Blackout. Yeah, it's like I didn't sleep super well, so that was the downside of today so far. Is I woke up really early for like no reason. I could not fall back asleep. But I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Uh oh. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Come on. Come on over here. Come here, you cute bird. Come here, yes, that's good, that's good, I'll take it. Fine. Oh, that's a lot of switch axes, let's go. <laughs> Poor thing. <laughs> We're just gonna light this thing up, no big deal. In the last challenge I did with the hunting horn, I did this quest for eight hours straight because I had to get my master rank to 99. And what I'm trying to do this time is not wait until we need master rank 99 to get it. If I can intermix this mission in with guiding land stuff as we go, 
I think it's gonna help me, and it's not gonna be like a whole stream of fighting. You know, we'll see how it goes. Cause I do gotta get master rank no matter what. That's just something I gotta do. And I think there's another mission I can do that can get me a lot of master rank, but it's it's way harder than this mission is. If we could do this mission really fast, there we go. Then I then I get master rank quickly, which is the whole idea. Right? We'll see what happens. But I, I really don't want to do one eight-hour stream of just fighting chickens, you know. <laughs> you have an optional goal for cutting weapons on Fatalis? You're making good enough time, you might make it. I mean, if we get done before 100 hours and we have everything done, then I think we might do a, a Fatalis run. I don't know if we'll finish the Fatalis, like, and keep trying to get it. But we might do a couple runs just to see if I can do it quickly you know but yeah we'll see the thing about Dodomagama is that both him and Great Jagus are unique if there were some if there were many it wouldn't be the same you mean there's only one of them not a chance <laughs> there's different sized monsters for him if you're trying to go against Alatron use Cole's ice dual blades set use fire dual blades and ebony dual blades Good tip. I won't be able to use that, unfortunately, because I don't have any of those weapons. And I only have 100 hours to try to find them. But for those who are just grinding out weapons, it's a great tip. I don't like Dodogami. He keeps interrupting my fights with other monsters, using hitbox the size of... <laughs> uh, Dodogami is just overrated, in my opinion. That's all. I think he's goofy. Oh, I got you, Lamax. Okay, I understand. I understand. We need to do more fertilizer here. And buy these. We always need money. And then we check the guiding lands. Teostra! Woo! That's a tail we don't have. I'm double checking. I'm pretty sure we don't have Teostra though. All right, chat. Uh, we're not going to do the carnival this time because I got to go get a Teostra tail. I will be back. <laughs> Not bad. That's that's a really good find, honestly. What weapon are you planning on using for Latrion? You know, I was thinking about that this morning. What is something that we need to grind for for a Latrion? The best thing to use would be an ice weapon, right? Um, and we might have time to actually get one because we have an ice switch axe built already from Vilcana. We just need to upgrade it. It depends what the upgrade is in order to get that upgrade, obviously. So I'm leaning that direction. But otherwise, I need to figure it out. That's something we got to work out and see what we're going to build for Alatrion. I'm pretty sure Alatrion is going to be the last hunt. We probably won't do it early, so I've got time to figure it out. Okay, let's get in here and fight a big mana core. This is really good timing. It's, I don't even know how we're spawning this in. Our Wildspire Waste Rage is level 3. I thought that they spawned at level 5. That's crazy to me. <laughs> Did that change? I don't even know. I thought that Elder Dragons were level 5. And we've got one here at Wild Spire Waste. Oh, you know what? It's in the Elder's Recess. Hey, I'm so glad I thought through this. It is level 5. It's Elder's Recess. Okay, I gotta go down. I gotta go down. We got a sugar go down swinging. <laughs> Never use a swax. It's a fun time good time is it good oh it's it does a lot of damage we like doing damage <laughs> all right let's grab this there we go and then we'll grab this all right here we go the Oster time i really like a rock steady mantle. I don't have that yet. <laughs> I need to go get that one of these days. I might need to get it for a Latrion specifically. There's nothing else I'm really concerned about having it for, but I might have to go get it for a Latrion. We'll, we'll see how that goes. Oh, I missed. Whoop. I mean, I failed. 
go. Okay. Now, can we throw it into a wall is the real question here. I would like that. I would not like that. <laughs> Here we go, wall time. Perfect. Now we'll get this tail. Wild smash. There it is. Boom, baby. Big damage. Oh, yeah. Uh oh. Oh, punchy. That was good placement. Good placement. I would like to go over here. Come here, Manicorn. Wonderful. Ooh, fire. All right, let's grab one of these. Oh yeah, that was huge. Oh, that was, that was painful. That's fine, we got there. All right, I gotta take off this thing too. We might need this later. Nice punch, that was a good stop. Oh, okay! <laughs> All right. Oh, and a Namiel. Oh my gosh. And a Black Diablos. Wow, we got two good lures from that. Woo, baby. This was a good Teostra, holy cows. That's amazing. That Teostra tail came off and it got us a Namiel lure and a Black Diablos lure, which are two monsters we don't have tails from yet. That's gonna help us uh, not have to level up regions so far. That's fantastic. Oh, heck yeah, I'm so pumped about that. Nice. All right, I wanna soften a wing here if I can. Okay, and then we'll go for another Wild swing into overhead smash. And it'll sort on the map. We can't really get a head break until the very end of this hunt if we even wanted it. So I want to try to break other parts of the monster so that it'll affect the hunt some. There we go. That's good. That's good. Ah, oh, too slow. Okay. Oi! Ah. How'd you get Namiel? It was just a track. Like, we got it from the tracks. You know, like the little things you do when you break parts and all that off monsters, you get the lures. So Namiel didn't spawn, but we got a we got a lure for it, which is great. So now we can lure it in instead of leveling up that region to five. That's super useful. Super, super useful. Ugh. All right, we gotta eat another one of these. Okay, we can also throw them into a wall again. Let's do it. Oh, that was close. That was close, we got him though. And we broke his wings, I think. Not bad. I'm a charge blade main, but the mystery of the swax escaped my understanding. <laughs> You'll get there, it just takes some practice is all. That's why I spend 100 hours with it, you know? Yes. Uh-oh. Is he booming? Oh, he left. Okay. Whew. I thought he was going to boom there. <laughs> Not bad, y'all. Great start. All right, bird. You're going to be the bane of my existence right now. Get out of here. No more. Wonderful. Fun fact about Fatales. Fire defense doesn't bloody matter unless you're eating for moxie. Reason being... Fatal's fireballs pretty much do physical damage. Ah, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Good to know. Do lures not matter for the level of the region that they spawn from? I guess not. Lures will spawn as tempered monsters depending on the region level. Yes. So if you've got, for example, with the Elder Dragons, if you've got lures for Namiel and your Elders and your Coral Highlands region is level seven, it will spawn in as a tempered Namiel instead of a regular Namiel. If it's under level seven, then there's, then I think it's always a regular one for, uh, what's it called? For elder dragons. I think for regular monsters, 
for large monsters, if you use a lure, it has a chance to be tempered or not. Like, 50-50, basically, whenever you use a lure. I think that's how it works. I can't remember. This guy went really far away. Jeez. You have the build I talked about earlier. You have enough fire defense to take three fire cone attacks. Oh, you guys are talking about Asa. Okay. All the Raging Bracky weapons look so good. We got it super early too, Ocelot. We got Raging Bracky gear done at the start of last stream, I think, or the end of the stream before. So we're so ahead of schedule that it's making some of these fights really trivial. Because we do just so much damage to these things. It's pretty great. <laughs> Hello, lion. that one. Should have dodged that probably. Okay, let's see here. Oh, that hit me. That's so sad. That's so sad. Sorry to iceboard on my sword and shield account now. Nice, nice. Hope it goes well. There we go. This should work. Wonderful. Nice. Got the part break. Now we charge the sword. All right, now we just gotta look for an opening. There we go. Boomage. Oh, Boomage back. <laughs> Good trade. Good trade. <laughs> Ooh -hoo -hoo -hoo. No, don't you do it. You monkey. Oh my gosh, I just want a zero sum, come on! All right, I'm getting too greedy with it. Way too greedy. There's no need for me to go for that constantly. Especially without rock study or anything like that. You sure you're set? Yeah, I will after this hunt. Hey Q, how we doing? Good to have you here. How's my day today? It's going very well. Very well. We, uh, I think this could be a third tail cut of the stream already. It hasn't even been an hour yet. It, it just became an hour. <laughs> Pretty good. Hard, hard to be unhappy about that, you know. Oh, that went all the way over there. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Oh, we might be dead. We might be dead. Yep, that's all right. That's all right. We got away with a lot there. We probably shouldn't have. Uh, <laughs> shouldn't have got away with that much. I'll take it. <laughs> Any advice for facing Lunastra? Lunastra is really tough. Fire resistance is good. Uh, lots of healing would be a, a good thing to look at as well. And then. Try to focus, man, the front paws, I guess. It's a, it's a really tough hunt. It's hard, it's hard to give really solid tips against it because it just hits so hard. Yeah, cool drinks is a good tip, yeah. Then you won't get the fire burn all the time on you. Fire mantle, that's a good tip too, yeah. Focus the tail. That's what I was gonna say too. It's like, it's a weird thing to focus, but if you focus its face, you're not gonna break its horns till the very end of the hunt. Cause it's got a, like a, a damage cap on it before you can actually break it. So you wanna focus stuff that can break. So the tail is probably the best thing. And then if you stay near its, near its neck, you can dodge some attacks from it pretty decently. But it's a tough hunt.
Oh my gosh, we missed. All right, we didn't get punished for it. We should have been punished for that, but we did not. Lucky us. <laughs> Worth a shot. Woohoo! Big booms. Alright. Chop this guy up now, yeah? Or not? This thing's got the funkiest attack pattern. It's so hard to dodge it. That's all right. Decent, decent. Just headlocker, that works too. <laughs> I use the Punder Blade because I'm a greedy son of a gun. <laughs> it's fun to get those extra parts though every now and then. I like that. Oh, it went up, didn't it? Aww. I went the wrong way? Morph after you roll in sword mode is a good spacing option. Sounds good. Thanks for the tip. Appreciate it. Ooh, baby. Bye. -ya. Got one more of these. Oh, big boom time. That's a way to start this part of the hunt. Nice work. No! That's so silly. That's so silly. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, I'll stop some here. Whoop. We're cooking. Nice punchy. It's fantastic. Oh, Zenogre hit his shock trap from earlier. That's funny. Punch this trap, both monsters on the map at the same time. <laughs> what a master. Turtle for luck, thank you. I appreciate it. Also, hi, Cerulean. Good to have you here. Oh, baby. I'll take that trade. Ah, I dodged that. Ooh. Oh boy, it's getting spicy. Okay, we're fine. I think we got away with a lot there. Yeah. I'm on fire! Oh boy! Yeah, we're fine. Nice, Punchy! Punchy, what a champ! There, yes. Oh, yes, we're going again. Woo, yes. Oh, baby, that's nice. All right, not bad. Not bad. That's good stuff. Okay, let's try for this quick, though. We'll go chase it down to the Elder's Recess. Not bad. Charge Blade, then Zeus of Discharge, and the Clutch Claw after the Discharge. Follow up with another. Yes, I did know that. Thanks for the tip. Appreciate it. Use the Blast to destroy the Blast. Exactly. That's what we're doing. We gotta fight fire with fire sometimes, you know? <laughs> How long have we been live for? An hour and 15 minutes. Very little. Not too long yet. Right, we've got bombs this time too, that's good news. 
was kind of making me want to lay down the great sword and take up the switch axe give it a try you never have to go all in on it you can always just try it see how it goes <laughs> all right let's grab this thing yeah Come here, Teostra. Teostra gives me a headache. It's a tough one. Elder dragons are tough. They're supposed to be, though. It's okay. There's nothing wrong with being challenged by them. That's the whole idea. Oh my gosh. Take that 400. And then we'll put you into a wall. Yes. 800 more. And then we'll light you up. Man, that's a lot of damage in a short amount of time. Woo -hoo -hoo. Can I get on there? Oh no, that was close. Oh yeah. That was a lot of damage in a very short amount of time. Goodness gracious. We lit that thing up at the end. Jeepers, creepers. <laughs> Got him. Holy cats, that was crazy. <laughs> started playing Rise, so I started working with the dual blades because they changed the mechanic for the insect blade. Nice. Are you enjoying Rise? A good time? Am I going to take it on Latron? It's got a tail I can cut off, so yes. Yep. Latrion is gonna see my blade on its tail for sure. Well, that was a happy coincidence to get that Teosa to spawn plus two really good lures for our run. Hey, Cola, how we doing? Good to have you here. Thanks for hanging out. What I miss? I just got my third tail cut of the day in an hour and 15 minutes. And we got two lures that are gonna give us two more tail cuts here. Assuming we can cut the tail off the monsters. It's been a very good start. Oh, this is actually huge. Okay, let's see here. Been thinking about trying to switch axe on Latran? Give it a shot. Go get him. <laughs> hey, Justin, how we doing? Good to have you here. Thanks for hanging. There's two Justins in chat now. Got to keep you guys straight. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take on Black Diablos first. And we're gonna do that by eating this thing. And then we'll go. Time to make it confusing, you know it. <laughs> All right, let's throw the lure in here. Lure out monster. We got this one, this is huge. Did we not get Black Diablos? There it is, there it is. I just can't read, that's all. <laughs> all right, here we go. Black Diablo's time. Still haven't beaten the Latrion solo. The grind for good elemental builds is huge. It was good, great work, man. I love the stream. Hey, thanks, Michael. You'll get a Latrion eventually. It takes time. That's the whole idea. It's meant to be challenging. It took me 15 attempts and 55 carts <laughs> before I got it. And I was already playing dual blades. I had some elemental weapons already. So I can't imagine what it's like coming up with a whole new build while you're at it too. But I changed my build for Latrion many times through, through the learning of that. It was a tough one. But it felt really good to finish. <laughs> no collab monster tail in this list? Nope, nope. I gotta get my first collab done, you know? I don't want to put out too many promises at once that I can't keep. <laughs> oh, no! Bummer. All right, we got it stuck in there. Let's do this. Wonderful. Grab this thing quick. All right, it's going underground. Wait, oh my gosh, that was really, really quick compared to what I thought it was gonna be. Dodge through. This is greedy. Yeah, really greedy. That's right. 
I mean, I could be JT. I don't mind. Sounds good. Sounds good. Whatever works for you guys works for me. Oh, I broke a horn with that. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Shoot. I thought I had ammo. Bummer. Gave that up. I thought I had ammo already. That's right. Grab that poop. We'll grab this poop. Give me that poop. Wonderful. We always need more poop. That's how it goes here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Chat, this is going to sound really weird. But just bear with me here, okay? This is the first stream, first day on the Switch Axe, where I felt like I've got the monsters figured out. Where they're, like, moving in slow motion for me. Don't know why. I fought these monsters a bunch of times. Like, I feel like they're moving real slow, which means I know what I'm doing. It's a good thing. Ooh. Oh my gosh, punchy. Give me on there, yes. That'll work. Whoop. Okay, we need to do a big dodge here. <laughs> See, they're moving in slow motion. Can't you tell? <laughs> oh, two in a row. That never happens. I can see the code, yeah. <laughs> Three in a row. Keep it coming, keep it coming. That's fine. You do that. Oh yeah. Oh, I manualed it. Come on, Tails. Unintentional promise. Ouch. All right, Tamara, see you soon. Enjoy homework. Hope it goes well. No, the hip check of doom. Draco, how we doing? Good to have you here, friend. Oh, punchy! Incredible! That was amazing, punchy. Oh, yeah, baby! Woo, we're crushing it! Yes! So good. That tail cut brought to you by punchy, everybody. Punchy made that happen, big time. Oh, I got lucky there. Oh, yeah. Wonderful. Okay, that was, that was great. <laughs> that was really good. Oh, we're killing this thing. Jeez Louise, guys. What Palco Gadget Punch is using? The Flash Fi Cage, and it is the best, the best in the game. I'll fight you on it. <laughs> Flash Fi Cage is the best. It's so good. <laughs> Oh, we're gonna take this. This is gonna lure, lure progression. Maybe we'll get something good here. Diablos, nope, but well, that's fine. We'll need it for Wild Sprout Waste progression. That's all good. Someday I can fight perfectly fine. Other days get ragdolled. That's kind of how life is sometimes, you know? It's all good. Ebbs and flows. Not a problem. Pick it up some taco. Mmm, taco mac, even better. Yum. That sounds delish. Second person in stream today who's making mac and cheese, by the way. Just saying. The last one fight when? At the very end. It's the last tail we're gonna get. 
So within the next 42, 46 hours, but probably sooner than that is the hope. Okay. Punchy the goat, you know it. Is this a new tale? Think of behind in the monsters he has done? Yes, this is a new one. I've done regular Diablos, but not Black Diablos. Greedy. How many tacos could a hunter eat? I mean, if it was me, it'd be like five. Five or six. Depends on the size of the taco, I suppose. We're talking corn tortillas, like those smaller tacos, not big tacos, not burrito shells. I call you five. Five tacos easy. I love tacos. Mm, they're so good. What? Well, that's the question, chat. Beef tacos or chicken tacos? Or pork. I'll, I'll add pork to it too. I'm not a pork guy, but if you guys like pork tacos, I'll add it to the mix. That's the best one. I dodged that. <laughs> oh, that's American. <laughs> Stop. Ah! Just missed. That'll work. You've never eaten a taco before? <gasps> Autumn, you gotta have a taco. Tacos are so good. Oh man, it's like some of the best food out there. It's delicious. Having to season the meat from scratch and I'm fully expecting to screw it up. Uh-oh. <laughs> You'll be just fine. Don't worry. I believe in you. Hard to go wrong on a taco. This poor Diablos, I know we're wrecking this thing. We are wrecking it. No. Close. Uh, okay. My question is, what are hunters? Are they human? How do they possess such superhuman quantity? We're in a different universe here. That's the difference. See, multiverse problems. I think they're humans, but because they're multiverse differences, they're, they behave or can pull off different things than regular Earth humans can, you know? <laughs> Is it Taco Tuesday? It sure is. Always Taco Tuesday. <laughs> also, hey Lon, how we doing? Good to have you here. Tacos are peak food, dude. They're so good. Oh my God. Some of the yummiest foods you'll ever have is tacos. Good morning. An aerial attack. Please give me to the face. Thank you. There we go. Woo, yeah. Does Flash Fly Cage start with bombs and traps or do you have to level it? You have to level it. It starts with the blind trap, the Flash Fly trap and then when you level it up for the next trap it's the thunder trap and then after that it's the bombs and it's worth it it's so good oh my gosh she mad You man again, I should say. Ooh. 
Ja. Like that stop, chat? Oh my gosh, I'm so good at this. You like that stop? We're gonna get a knockout here, maybe? Oh, I dodged into it. Bummer! Ooh hoo hoo! Jump punchy. Good job, Punchy again. Good job, Punchy a third time. Oh, yeah. There it is. Oh, it's mad already again. Crazy. Ah! That one hurt. Definitely sorry you've been watching it create so many openings, but I wonder if it doesn't work on Elder Dragons as much. The only thing that doesn't work on Elder Dragons is the Thunder Cage. That's it. Everything else works on Elder Dragons. And people like to say, well, that's a downside. You shouldn't use it against Elder Dragons. Until you, like, blind it halfway through the fight multiple times, and you knock it over with Boom Buck Cages, which do 180 each hit and knock it over for full duration, you start to realize, like, the Thunder Cage doesn't matter. For Elder Dragon. This still works really well against it. I think it's the best gadget by far. It would be more valuable if you could use the Thunder Cage against it. Against Elder Dragons, but it doesn't need it. It still does a lot. It does a ton. Or maybe perhaps it's just video games. <laughs> maybe that's why the hunters are amazing. Who knows? They got the video game buff going for them. You also have cocktails the best? Nah. It's pretty good. It's my second favorite. Flashfly is better. Oh, yeah. That Black Diablos. That Black Diablos got smashed. We dumpstered that thing. Woo, baby. Cooked them. Cooked them. Mark off Black Diablos on our list. That was a good hunt. Do we have pink Rathian? We do. Okay. Support this. Hey, Chan, how we doing? Welcome to chat. Good to have you here. Okay. Got that taken care of. Do we get Namiel now? Hey, man. I saw a stream that I could join to. Hey, what's up? How we doing, Marcia? Good to have you here. Do we just keep the run going, guys, and go get the uh, Namiel now? Why not, right? We're cooking, we may as well. Let's go get this Namiel. Mm -hmm. Oopsie. All right, let me top off my shrooms and then we'll go get them. All right, talk to this one here. We'll use the lure. There's Nami. Oh man, getting Namiel here is massive. This also saves us a lot of time. This is great. This means we only have to level up three regions now, I think, instead of four. And it was almost five because that Seething Basil lure was huge as well. We've gotten, we've gotten pretty lucky on the lure gathering right now. Saving us a ton of time. It's gonna rain. I've gotten good at putting the exact right amount of water in my max so I don't have to strain it. Ooh, nice. I always flood mine. <laughs> I have to strain mine. That's uh, something I have not measured out. I just kind of throw it all in a pot and hope it sticks. Pretty hard to go wrong with mac and cheese, y'all. Mac and cheese is so tasty. Mm. Delicioso. All right, where's it at? I hear it. I hear it. Is it up here? Where are you? 
Where are ya? There it is. I knew it was on the way. Alright, we gotta get the tail here. This is like hours of grinding the Coral Highlands taking off our list right now, by the way. For those who don't realize how important it is that we got that lure. Uh, I should explain what's going on here, y'all. I'm doing the 100 hour challenge of getting the tails cut. And you might ask, like, well, Tails, why don't you just pull up the quest with Namiel and go fight it? Well, I have to spawn everything in on the Guiding Lands to get the tail cut. That's part of the challenge. So it makes it fun. In order to spawn in Namiel, I have to have Coral Highlands at level 5. Right now, my Coral Highlands is at level 3. And I've got a Namiel. It's because we got a lure. And you might be asking, well, Tails, why don't you just go meld lures at the Melder? Well, that's no fun. That's just like blowing up a quest against that monster. I have to earn the lures from the the analysis progress that's on the right side of my screen. If I earn lures from there, I can use them, but I cannot meld lures. And we were able to earn a nominal lure by random chance from the analysis progress for this, which is just huge, massive. So that's why I'm so pumped. And there's another tail right there. Easy peasy. Not even an issue. We got there. Woo, baby. That was nice. Wow. Wow. Oh, no. All right. We still got to take out the Nam, y'all. That's how it goes. But we got the tail, so we got our check mark. That's great. Mac and cheese is done. Now it's on to the burgers. That sounds delicious, Justin. I want what you're cooking, man. I want what you're cooking. Uh-oh. First, no tacos. Now, no mac and cheese. Aww. <laughs> but I like both those things. Ah! Agitated right then. Okay, take that. Ooh, baby. Come here, baby. Sorry, chat. I'm a mega focus right now because it's agitated. And I don't want to die. <laughs> don't worry. We need to soften up its legs, too. I just realized that. We haven't done that yet. This thing is, like, not squishy at all. So we got to try to soften parts up before we start doing a lot of damage. Because it doesn't take a lot, otherwise. There we go. Oh, unlucky there. That's our name. Oh, he's gonna shock us. Send a picture of the back of the Discord general chat. Sounds good. I'll take a look at it after stream. I'm excited for it. Woo, baby! What a good hunt. What a good hunt. We gotta find that tail. Here it is. We just need to take out the Namiel now, but we're good. Yeah, we got the tail. Hey, Paul, how we doing? Paul, stream has been so good. We're only an hour and 40 minutes in, and we've gotten, what? This is five tails now? Six tails? Five or six. I'm gonna do the, the count after this one. I'll let you know what the number is. We started at 25 tails today. 
And I think we're at 30 or 31. I don't remember, but it's one of those. It's been super quick. We've gotten real lucky with a couple lures as well as spawns in the guiding lands. Awesome. Yeah, dude, we're kicking butt. Kicking butt. A big, big reason why is because we've gotten this Raging Brachydeos equipment so early. Because we're able to do so much damage and speed up our progress against monsters because of it. Oh, that one hit me. Nice. That was the perfect application of that move, Tom. Way to go. Let's soften this guy up. Ah, wonderful. Alright. Yep, that's fine. We can attack here. Oh, I reloaded. Tails, you need to watch to see if you can use the sword, dummy. Goofball. Why am I doing that? <laughs> it's really that much an upgrade, huh? Oh, this, this weapon and build does so much damage compared to Theostra. And the big reason why is because I have more gem slots. The last build we had with the Ostra, I had like five gems I could add into it. Where this one, we've got probably 15. We've got so many. So we've been able to add more to our build. It's been great. How can I join your Discord server? There's a link in the description of this video that you're watching right now. You can also go on my YouTube channel under the banner. There's a spot for links. There's a Discord link in there. And that's it. There it is. What's my take on Switch X now? Rank higher than dual blades? Well, I haven't finished the challenge yet, so I don't want to make my, my call yet. I want to finish the 100 hours first and then I'll rank it compared to everything else. But I do like the weapon. It's very fun. Very fun weapon. Let's see if I can get a shark in here. Nice shot, punchy. Whee! Aww. Oopsie. Oh, that one hurt. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Maybe it's because you're becoming better at the switch axe. It very well could be that as well. Yes. <laughs> oh. Oh. Barely missed the timing. I was trying to do like the clagger thing. Huge. Just missed that dodge. That's fine. Does artillery affect throw some discharge of blast? I don't think it does. Chat will have to confirm that for me. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Oh, baby. Oh, punchy, that was nice. Woo. Kind of wild to me how eight years Discord has become the de facto social media for people who actually want to socialize. I agree. They've earned it, though. You can do so much on Discord. It's so nice. I like it so much better. I, I'm surprised Zoom got as popular as it did during the pandemic. Because I think Zoom is so bad compared to Discord. <laughs> Big boom. Oh, that hits all the way out here. Oh my gosh. Okay. Thanks, Punchy. All right, let's go slay this thing. Find mounting and jump attacks and switch axe, not so great. I love them. Oh, they're so good. They look awesome. Let's get an old berry aid here quick. And then we gotta bomb this guy. 
If it's sleeping, I suppose. It might not be sleeping. Let's find out. Did I not carve the tail? I thought I did. I'll go back for it. Thanks for the reminder. Woo! Nice. Ow! We got slapped. Okay, good dodge, Tails. That was on purpose. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, that was, on, that was on purpose, for sure. <laughs> the reason Zoo got so popular is because schools and businesses decided to use it. So it just gives more ways to limit users. I can understand that. I think that's the reason why I don't like Zoom, though, is because you can't do as much with it compared to Discord. But I can see why it got popular, because you want to limit what people can do. I can see it. Makes sense. All right, let's see what we got here. We've got barrels now, which is great. Let's get them. This is gonna be the end of them. Gonna get them good. I need a stone. No, I don't. What am I doing? I've got wake up attacks. All right, so if we do this, and then this, and then this. I missed. <laughs> Still working on the range of that attack. <laughs> Ow. Nice punchy. Oh, no way. Oh, if I had ammo right now. That would have been nice. That's all right. Owie! Double stagger. Nice. Can we get on there? Yes. Oh, yeah! What a slay! <laughs> that was awesome! What a way for that thing to die! Oh my goodness, that was sweet. <laughs> Woo! We got him! We got him! All right. That was massive. That saved us a ton of time. A ton of time for the Coral Islands. Well, actually, it didn't. Now that I'm looking at my list, we got Silver Rathalos, so I guess it didn't matter. But that, either way, I'll take it. Goodness gracious. Oh, the elephant like sound she makes? Me too, yeah. It's a good sounding, good sounding monster. All right, let's get up here. And let's mark the nominal. There it is. Okay, anyone know which places to farm pink Rathian tracks? Uh, let's see. I like to do the wild spire waste for those. They're easier to see, in my opinion. Critical boost, huh? That's pretty good. Coral region left. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. There's nothing on the map right now, I think. The thing was called out so I can watch now. Hey, Beta, you made it! Good to have you, friend. Glad you could hang. All right, do we have any new lures that we can use? I wasn't watching while we were fighting. Nope, okay. Let's get out of here. And we'll do the next one. Okay, and then the number we needed, I wanted to give you the tail number now. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 
27, 28, 29, that was number 30. 30 out of 46 taken care of for Tails. Whee! That's a lot. <laughs> hey, Tiffany, how we doing? Good to have you here. Thanks for hanging out. Have a look around. Okay, let's get this off taken care of here, and then we'll figure out what's next. Um, no. 30 is really good. It's the hardest upcoming tail. The hardest one for sure is going to be Latrion. Gold Rathian and Silver Rathian or Rathalos will be pretty tough, but and Lunastra. Those are probably the three I'm most concerned about leading up to this. Have you gotten a chance to try Taco Mac since I mentioned a while ago? I have not tried it since you asked, but I've had Taco Mac, I think. There's a new one. Or no, we had we just had beef mac. We didn't have taco seasoning in it. So I need to try that for sure. I need Radabon. Okay, we're going in. Back into the guidelines. We're gonna get another tail. <laughs> Woo, baby! I saved time to wait for Namil to spawn. It saved time. Yes, yes. Unfortunately, what it didn't save time was I thought I could stop leveling up the Coral Highlands, but I can't because I gotta get Silver Rathalos. That's not level six, I think, in Coral Highlands. But it did save us hunting another Namio later and got us research points for that area, which is great. I'll eat my food quick. Doing great. How about you? Thanks for asking. I'm glad you're doing well. I'm doing awesome. Yeah, I'm doing a great doing a great stream so far. I'm having a lot of fun. Enjoying my time a lot. Alright, let's go down, down. What time is it in my country? 11 a.m. almost. Very close to 11 a.m. 10 2. Also, hi, Benty. Good to have you here. It's important to cook the seasonings with the meat, not just add it into the mac. You soak in the meat. I agree. I think that's good for any taco. Taco meat has to have all the seasoning in the meat, not just sprinkled on top or anything. Agreed. Ooh, I need that. Silver Wrath. Oh, it'll be good. Silver Wrath's not too bad. I'm pretty decent at Silver Wrath, and I just gotta level up the Coral Highlands, the only downside. All right, let's grab that and eat this and eat this. Man, these Gyros started us off on the right foot, huh? Oh, and then they stopped my claw attack like multiple times. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, I'll take that. Wonderful. At my place is 11 p.m. Dang, 12 hour difference, huh? Pretty different, right? Time zones are crazy. <laughs> That's something we do in our Discord all the time. Instead of saying good morning or good evening or whatever, we say good time zones. Because <laughs> we never know where everyone's at. Alright, Heroes and Radabon gotta chill a little bit, because I need to focus on this one. Alright. Yeah. Nice! I'll take it. Oh my gosh, I thought I was moving. Forgive me. <laughs> the neutrals. Even 50 hours into this weapon, I'm still neutral in on the warp. Oh, baby! Yes. Did you hear tacos? You sure did. Sure did. Also, hi Alex. How we doing? Good to have you. Woo! That was huge. Oh no! I did the reload. No. What am I doing? Gotta go to sleep. Sounds good, Tiffany. Sleep well. We'll catch you later. Thanks for hanging. Hope you sleep well. Come here, tail. I need you for my list, for my collection. Oh. Oh. That was awkward. I thought I was zero summing there. Whoops. How many mana reloads are on tails? Way too many. <laughs> way, way, way too many. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo! Yeah! Yes, that was huge! 
Oh my gosh, get beat, dude. <laughs> Holy cats. That was massive. <laughs> oh, I love that. Oh my gosh. What a good tail cut. <laughs> That was amazing. Oh, we'll keep going. That's fine. Oh, another one? Sure. Let's do it. Let's do it. If you like that attack so much, let's do another one. How about that, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll give him another one. Let's, do, let's go again. Oh, you like that one? Here, how, how about another one? How's that sound? One more? Nope. Okay, you were done with that amount. Got it. Got it. All right. Just four. No more than four. <laughs> Jeez. You kind of feel bad for him, don't you? Just a little bit. Onto the boom bug from Punchy there. All right, here we go. Oh, we missed. Fine, I'll take it either way. Update, I did not ruin the Taco Mac by accidentally adding irresponsible amount of onion powder. Good, good. <laughs> Glad to hear. I ain't done with you yet. I like your video, I'm a sub. Sounds great. Glad to have you as part of the Basil Good Squad. Thanks for joining. I appreciate it. We have a lot of fun around here. You're in a good spot if you like Monster Hunter stuff. You're in a good spot. Like the vibe. Yeah, we're all about good times here. Laughter, fun, that's what I'm all about. It's a good time. Thanks for joining the crew, Tiffany. It's nice of you. <laughs> Love how much armor from Bone Daddy looks. Doom armor. Ah, I have to look at that. Oh, no, no. I remember what it looks like. Yeah, it is pretty sweet. <laughs> when I start feeling bad for him, I just remind myself he looks like Jay Leno. <laughs> You're okay beating up Jay Leno, huh? That's pretty interesting. <laughs> of all the people in the world to beat up. <laughs> Also, hey, Jack, how we doing? Good to have you here. Ugh! There we go. He does look like Jay Leno, though. You're right. <laughs> hey, Ice Scale, how we doing? Good to have you here. Thanks for hanging out. Hope you're having a great day. Oh, that guy just wanted me to do a mount attack on him. He got into the perfect position for it. <laughs> Gotta go to lunch. Get you a bit. Sounds good, Justin. We'll see you around, all right? Enjoy lunch. Bring some back for the rest of us, okay? I'm, I'm hungry. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Get out of here, Draco. I'm not reading that out loud. <laughs> not a chance. <laughs> my first kill on Raging Bracky, I cannot figure out what I'm doing wrong. Any recommendations? Run Blast Resistance. Blast Resistance is so good against Raging Bracky. Because you'll still get hit by the booms from the the uh, slime, but you won't get slimed. So you don't have to dodge roll to reduce all that slime blast damage. It's really good. Well, there we go. Wow, this poor thing. He just showed up in the Guided Lands at the wrong time because I was on a tail rampage today. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Just did no, I'm not doing it, Paul. I'm not doing it. <laughs> not happening. 
It's not gonna be on the internet forever, forever or anything. Yeah, it's gonna wind up in some bad gift somewhere or something like that. And that's how people are gonna know me. <laughs> I'd rather be known for other things. <laughs> not a chance. <laughs> All right, we got Radabon. That's 31. 31 out of 40, 46. We got 15 left. That's crazy. I can't believe we only have 15 left. All right, that affected a lot of region levels here. Rotted went up, that's great. I think we're okay though. We lost some forest rank. Yeah, that's fine though, just a little bit. We gotta get Kishala Dora, Deora, yes. All right, I have to look at my list here real quick to see what we have to do left. So we've got Acidic Glavinus, Alatrion, Black Veil Valhazak, Root Tigrex. So that's three out of those four are in the Rotten Veil. Vale. Gold Rathian, that's in Wildspire Waste. And so is Lunastra. Kashala Deora is the forest. Bruner Gigante and Safi Jeeva are later. Silver Athlos is Coral Highlands. Stygians and Ogres is the Hoarfrost Reach. Tigrex is Rotten Vale. Volcana is Rotten Vale, I believe. And Yangaruga is the forest. We got two forest monsters left. If I can unlock, I think we need to go fight a forest monster so we can get to level five. Because if I can get the two, the Yang, oh, we have Scarred Yangaruga too. What level is Scarred Yangaruga spawn at? Let's find that out. Because if I can eliminate all of the forest monsters, then we don't have to worry about it. Tier seven forest for Scarred? Oh. Is that what is that what it is? No, it's level six. Okay. All right, we're fine with that. So we can level up to level six when we get the MR, the correct MR, MR69. There's a Tigrix. Good things come to those who wait sometimes, y'all. Tigrix just spawned in the Rotten Vale. That's fantastic. Yeah, Scardian is for us. I know that. I just didn't know what level, but it's level six. So we've got some leveling to do for sure on all these regions still. I thought maybe we'd get away with just having five. All right, Tigrix time. Favorite, favorite area in the game? Wildspire Waste is my favorite area. I love Wildspire Waste. It's so good. I think a part of it too is I love that it's brighter. A lot of the areas in this game are so dark and I like to be able to see. <laughs> I could see a lot easier in the Wildspire Waste than in other regions. The lighting's just really good. You understand me? It's such an annoying dragon. Kashal always uses wind pressure and moving tornadoes. I hate it. It's the worst hunt in the game. The only one that competes with it is what's it called? What's that? What's that monster called from Final Fantasy? Behemoth. And Behemoth has tornadoes too, and I don't like Behemoth at all. Oh, just a little baby guy. Look at this small Tigrix we're fighting. He's so tiny. He's such a baby Tigrix. This has got to be a small crown Tigrix. It's got to be. This thing's so small. He's a small boy. Come here, you go. Okay. Beam is terrible. Oh, I hate it, yeah. It's already angry. Oh. My Mac is amazing, by the way. Lucky you. Lucky you. Before the, yeah, yeah, I just saw it. My bad. <laughs> Get our part breaker charged up first. There it is. Oh, I thought he was roaring. Good thing we dodged. Ooh, punchy nice. Oh, that one hurt. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay, take that. Your favorite color also brown? Oh, we got it. That was really fast. Oh, baby. Not bad. Not bad. Is my favorite color brown? No, it's orange. But orange and brown, when it comes to Wildspire Waste, are pretty similar in color. So that makes sense in that regard as well. You know that the size of the monster affects their fight? Yes. Big monsters to hunt are a big pain because their hitboxes are a lot bigger. 
Your friend deleted the game so he couldn't be behemoth after a week of trying. That's a that's a big response. <laughs> I just choose not to fight him, that's all. Nice punchy. Perfect. I really thought you were gonna set the tail with that claw shot. That would have been I thought we were out of the way. I was supposed to beat every monster before I swore and you couldn't do it. I mean, the problem with Behemoth is you need a party. It's so hard to solo that monster. It's ridiculous. There's a reason why I don't talk about it on my tier list. I have it on my tier list for Elder Dragons, and I just say, nah, and I give it an F rank and move on. I'm just not going to give it any time. It's such a dumb hunt. <laughs> I'm glad it exists for the sake of the collaboration, and that's it. <laughs> it's, a, it's a terrible hunt. Alright. Oh, it's still charging! That was such a long charge! Hey, Lewis, how we doing? Good to have you here. Thanks for hanging out. Oh, no. Go to sleep for now. Nice to meet you guys. Sounds good, Tiffany. We'll catch you later, okay? Sleep well. Thanks for hanging today. Good to have you as part of the crew. Oh my gosh, Tails! <laughs> the point blank claw shot miss. That's the story of my life right there. Come on, Punchy. Oh, that was close. That was close, Punchy. Good try. Lizard Kitty is so angry. Oh my gosh. Nothing can console him. <laughs> By the way, Tails, how's time in the zero sum discharge dismount going? Very good. Very good. I've got the number in my head. I actually count it out while I'm doing the zero sum so that I can not do the full charge and be able to get in there again. It's going very well. That's something that I've added to my rotation learning the weapon recently. I haven't been doing that very much up until probably last stream was the, the first time I was actively doing it. And it's been very good. Yeah. Do I like the, the Tigrex fight? Ah! I like everything except for the charge forever attack. I think that attack's just really frustrating. Everything else is great. But when you have to like dodge the thing for like lots of time, because you can't hit any part of it without taking damage. This attack. This is the dumbest attack. This is the only reason why I have lower thoughts about Tigrex hunt. I like the design of the monster and everything though. So, like, it's a it's a hard it's a a fine line I walk about how much I like Tigrex and that. Ooh, that was a big hit. Ooh. Is there any reason to struggle through it? To struggle through uh, Tigrex? It's just that charge attack, yeah. If I if I missed your question though, LV, let me know. Okay. Also, hello there. Good to have you. We're hanging. Oop, that's gonna hurt. <laughs> Design is awesome. Do I like Raging Bracky? I do. I do like Raging Bracky. If Raging Bracky, the whole hunt was just his first stage, I wouldn't like it as much. But the fact that he closes off the exits and doesn't allow you to use traps in the hunt and all that, that's such good monster design. It's such good game design in general. Yes, it's stressful, but I don't think hunts shouldn't be stressful. I think they're fun. And it feels awesome in that moment. And when you win in that moment, 
it's a pretty hard feeling to, to top. It's one of my favorite hunts in the game is Raging Bracky, and it's because that last stage of the hunt is so good. Oh my gosh. Oh, I missed point blank again. Hey, Crow, how we doing? Good to have you here. Thanks for hanging out. How's the collection going? Dude, we've gotten seven tails just today, and we're only two hours into stream. That's been going very good. We're at 31 out of 46 tails cut, and we just got our 32nd with this Tigrex. And we've got a bunch of the hard monsters left over, which for them is just about time, because we got to unlock them in the Guiding Land. The hunt themselves aren't going to be too bad. It's been going very, very good. Hope you're doing well, Crow. Thanks for hanging with me today. You don't like normal Bracky? No, normal Bracky. Normal Bracky has the problem that Raging Bracky has if it didn't have the final stage. It just kind of bounces around and you have to dodge spots on the ground and that's not fun. That's not fun game design in my opinion. Like I, I'm, I'm fine that it exists, but it's too much. And the fight becomes dodging the pools on the ground, not about fighting the monster. Because once you negate the pools, that hunt is a joke. You run Blast Resistance 3, the hunt is way too easy. And it's it's not it's because the hunt was all about those pools. It wasn't interesting outside of that. So that's why I have a problem with it. Raging Bracky has the same problem except for the final stage, which makes it that boosts it up a ton. Oh baby, we got him. Woo yeah. Is that the Raging Bracky swags? It sure is. Well earned. <laughs> you mind if you read my previous message? Sure. You like Tigrex on everything. The charge tax too. Helps me improve my skills. What, whatever armor you got, he packs such a big punch. I mean, I agree with that. He hits hard. I like Brute Tigrex more. And I like, because I like his attack patterns better. He still does that dumb charge attack. But that one dumb charge attack is enough for me to not like the monster that much. Everything else I like about the monster. It's just that one attack. And even if he had that attack, but only did it for like one second and not five or six, and then chain did it multiple times, I wouldn't mind the monster at all. It's just that one attack is so annoying. <laughs> hey, nice capture, Punchy. All right, let's go back to camp. And we got Tigrix off the board. Wonderful, good news. How many tails are left? That was number 32, I believe, so that puts 14 left. 14. We are getting very close. Very close. Already seven? I know, dude. It's insane. Yeah, I think this is the first challenge I've had so far where I feel like I'm actually going to get all the tails cut off. That I'm actually going to finish the challenge within the 100 hours. First time I felt that way. We'll see. We still got a lot to go, but I feel like we're we're gonna get there, you know. Dropped on the slingshot. Did I actually? I didn't even notice. <laughs> That's awesome. I love when that happens. <laughs> All right, no new ones. Oh, okay, we're gonna leave the guiding lands. We're gonna cycle the monsters when we get back to camp or back to town. And if there's no monsters we can cut the tails off of, we're gonna do a chicken hunt. Because we need to get our master rank leveled up. What's the best way of leveling up all the regions in the guidelines without losing the levels on the first four? It's really tough. The best way to do it, which is gonna you're gonna hate it, is fight Bambarrow. <laughs> you're gonna get just a little bit or or Fulgur Ingenap. You get a little bit of experience, tiny. But you won't lose any experience anywhere. All tails and time left, I reckon. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. That's what I'm hoping for. Hey, you. All right, let's check the guiding lands quick. We've got all these, so now we do a chicken hunt. Um, if you guys would like to do a chicken hunt with me, feel free. We're going to do the Colorful Carnival to get some Master Rank, and I would love to have your help with it. Can I join chicken? You sure can. Sure can. The uh, session ID is pinned to the top of chat. You can join in here. I'm gonna start the mission. You guys can just join in as soon as you get here, okay? There's three slots available. After those, after we do this hunt and there's three people here, we'll rotate those three people out and get a new three people in here if we have that many people. And I'll get you in, okay? 
feel free to join. And for those who are wondering, we're doing this hunt right now because we need to level up our master rank. Right now we have master rank 60. When we get to master rank 69, we get the region unlock quest, which lets us get level six regions in the guiding lands. And level six is what gets us Scardian, Garuga, Silver Rathalos, and Gold Rathian. And so we want to get that so that we can spawn those monsters and cut their tails off. Then we need to get up to Master Rank 99 so that we can unlock Runer Nergigante. But we'll wait on getting that far until after we have all the other tails done except for Alash. So that's that's what we're doing right now is we're going to cycle the Guided Lands and up our Master Rank at the same time and see what we can pull off here. Look at all them chickens! <laughs> That's such a good classic meme, man. I love that one. <laughs> I meant Behemoth. Never fought him. I just hear horror stories. I know. Dude. It's the worst. Yeah, it's the worst. It's it's a pretty okay multiplayer hunt. As in, it's not as bad as solo. And the rewards you get from it are cool. Like I like the, the armor from it and stuff because it looks awesome. But it just doesn't... I just don't like doing it. I will do that hunt just for the armor when I feel like I want that armor. Otherwise, I'm not going to do the hunt. It's just not worth the time and the frustration. The, the tornadoes are just... They're, they're straight cancer, in my opinion. <laughs> All right. So chat, guess what I did yesterday as well? I, I talked to Skoy Skull yesterday, for those who missed that part earlier in, in stream. Skoy Skull is another YouTuber who does Monster Hunter content. And he's an awesome dude. He and I had a Discord call for the first time yesterday. We're gonna do like a collab thing together eventually. But before that, I took my wife out on a date and we went and saw Dune 2. Oh man, Dune 2. Awesome movie. Loved it. We had watched Dune 1 in theaters two years ago. And then hadn't done anything with it since. Then my dad and I were talking and he's like, Oh, I watched the 1980s Dune movie recently. And I was like, huh, you know what Dune is? Okay, well, you should watch the new Dune movie. So he and I and my mom and my wife watched it together. And my mom was, you know, she thought it was dumb. But she's not really a sci-fi person. My dad liked it, and so then Dune 2 came out Friday. We decided my wife and I had to go, and my dad's going to go see it too. We might go with him when he goes. But it was awesome. Oh my gosh, it was good. I told my wife this, and I know this is this is a lot. Like, my favorite movie series is The Lord of the Rings. Love The Lord of the Rings. I've watched The Lord of the Rings many, many times. Dune is probably going to be my next favorite movie series. I liked both the movies so much. I've never read the book or books, but I'm I'm going to pick them up. I'm in the middle of The Way of Kings right now, which I want to read from Brandon Sanderson. But once I finish those, I'm going to go pick up Dune and read those. Hey, Tamus, how we doing? Three days to finally get extreme one for armor. So you do it more times for the weapon. I feel you. I don't want to go back to that hunt at all <laughs> if I don't have to. <laughs> Which is the best armors and charge blade of design? Ooh. Design charge blades. Hmm. I haven't seen all of them because I didn't build all of them in the challenge that I did. But I've seen quite a few. I liked the Zora Magdaros one. That one was awesome. Um, What else did I like? The Nomula one was okay. It was pretty stylized. Frostfang for you. I don't know if I've seen the Frostfang very often. I'll have to check it out. But yeah, those are the two that stuck out for me. Was Zora Magros and um, Namiel. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're wearing the Frostbane one? Oh, that's pretty sick, yeah. I like that. I like that. Also, the uh, what's that Guild Eagle one or whatever? The Black Eagle? That one's an awesome one. Oh my gosh, that's a great... That's a great armor. Or, uh, charge blade. And then armor design, my favorite armor design in the game is the Namiel female armor. I don't like the helmet. The helmet is pretty silly, but everything else on that armor set is really good. 
in terms of look. The skills on it are pretty niche. You gotta be running your elemental build if you're gonna do that. But it's, uh oh, but it is good. Yeah, dude, Nami is awesome. It's, it's my go-to layered armor when I play my main account. It used to be the Safi armor. I like the Safi armor look a lot as well. But I like Nami better. Yeah. It looks... It's too Splatoon for me. The Nami helmet. Everything else is great, but the, the helmet looks like Splatoon. Boom! Put it down! Bring it down! Four team. Nice job, nice job. I love color cape and Amiel's chest. Same. It's cool. I always hide the helmet in every Monster Hunter game. That's such a great idea. I need to do that more. I forget that you can. I think the worst armor is the current armor. I hate the whole with my whole life man that's a that's a big statement i think the female current armor though it is overused in <laughs> like weeb culture i guess i don't know i i do think the current armor is cool i like it um for the female armor i don't know what the male armor looks like <laughs> i think it's great yeah and that's the beauty of uh Opinions y'all we can all have our own opinions <laughs> Both suck. Okay, that's all right. That's all right <laughs> I like the Radabon set makes you feel like a doom slayer somebody was just in here earlier too and said it looked like the doom guy I don't think that was you Paul. I think it was somebody else. That's kind of funny that that came out that way The mail is so bizarre like what is that <laughs> not everything could be good, you know Nice track. All right, guys, after this comes out, we're going to go over to the Dragonator, all right? 4,000 free damage if we pull it out right. The male current armor is absolutely, I won't say anything too bad, but the male armor is like your half human, half unicorn. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Come here, buddy. All right, he's gonna run all the way across. Be careful here. And then he's gonna run to us. Come here. Come here. Come on, buddy. This direction. Yeah, yeah, over here. Over here. We've just got some, some skewers for you. There you go, there you go. Yeah, keep coming, keep coming. That'll work. <laughs> Good work, team. <laughs> All right. So chat, there's this uh, there's this company that makes board games that I kickstarted their board game last like this past summer. The company's called Steam Forged Games. I'm talking to them to see if they want to do like a partnership collab thing here soon. They haven't gotten back to me yet. I'm waiting on that. But they've made the Monster Hunter board game. You guys, Monster Hunter World board game is in stores right now. I don't have that set, but I've seen all the minis and stuff for it. So they have like models for all the monsters in the game. For a lot of them, not all of them. For a lot of them. And then they've got models for the hunters in the game as well. And now they're doing a second version. They're doing the Monster Hunter board game for Iceborne. And I kickstarted that. I'm getting everything from Iceborne for that. And it ships in November. So it's a long time from now, but that's how Kickstarter works. And I'm so excited to get all these uh, models because I don't know if you guys can see on my shelf here. Like I do some Warhammer models and stuff like that. I've got a few things that are in progress right now being built. And I want to get some monster models. I'm going to replace these Warhammer guys with the monster, the monster hunter models once I get them. The reason I'm bringing this up is not because you should get the game or whatever. If you want to, that's great. It's because if you want to see some awesome hunter models, the, their band barrel, their male band barrel armored hunter for that board game looks so cool. And it's going to be a mini that's like this big. 
and I'm gonna paint it all up and make it look just like it does in game. It's gonna be so cool. I can't wait. <laughs> it's one of my favorite armors of the game is the male band bear armor. It looks really, really, really awesome. And they made a mini for it for that board game. It's be sick. <laughs> hey, yeah, how we doing? Anybody here play Sunbreak? There are people here who play Sunbreak, yep. And if you're looking for more Sunbreak players too, my Discord has a whole bunch of people in there that play Sunbreak. Okay. Good hunt, everybody. Mini painting stream in the future? I would love that. I've got all the materials for it. I paint a lot. I haven't painted in a while. I've been busy with the channel. But I do paint a lot. And when I get the Monster Hunter stuff, I would love to do some painting streams. That'd be super fun. Hey. That'd be great. I should show you guys some of my paint projects one of these days. I got a whole, I got bins, just bins of models. I've sold a bunch of them over the years too, so I don't have everything I've ever done, but I've got a bunch. All right, let's, whoopsie. Eat some food. Check out the Guiding Lands. Giddy, whole Rise or whole World, which one do you like more? I've never played Rise, so I can't comment on it, unfortunately. Well, I don't want any of those monsters. <laughs> we'll dodge all those. Okay, chicken time. Not that. Okay, if you just hunted with me, if you could take a back seat to give other people a chance to hunt with me, that would be very kind of you, please. If you are in this session and you wanna play with me and you haven't hunted with me yet, jump in, now's your chance. And I'll give you just a, a minute or two to jump in. If nobody does, then I'll get other people in here, okay? I reckon he likes World a lot more. I haven't played Rise, so I just can't comment on it, you know? Probably need to invest in a great close-up camera. Well, the beauty is I have a Pixel 8 phone and they have a macro lens on the Pixel 8. And so I think I can get a close-up camera. It might not be for the entire stream, but I have a way to hook up my Pixel 8 as a webcam to my computer. And then I can use that as an additional camera every now and then while we're painting. That'd be really fun. All right, y'all, jump in this game if you want it. I'm gonna get started. It's open for everybody now, feel free. Hey Tails, what's up Dingmaster, how we doing? I had some problems to take care of for the last few streams, so I couldn't make it. As I'm seeing now, we're back in the colorful carnival stage and grinding MR. Dingmaster, welcome. No problem getting your stuff all figured out. It's a good thing to do. We have cut off seven tails already today on this stream. Right now, we're getting into the later parts of the Guiding Lands leveling. So there just isn't as many monsters left that will spawn. So we need to level up our master rank to get to uh, the region level six unlocks. Once we do that, we'll be back at the Guiding Lands leveling things up. So we won't be doing this all stream, I imagine. I can't imagine we'll be doing it all stream. I really don't want to be doing this all stream, but there are steps we need to take in order to get our next phase taken care of. Whoop. Boom. We can just ask. Do I like Zenogre? Zenogre's great. Yeah, it's fun. Very unique monster design, which I love. And I'm a big fan of Thunder Element in like any game. Yeah, Zenogre's awesome. For a long time, he was like the bane of my hunts. Because I do like tempered regular Zenogre, and I just get absolutely demolished. Uh, but I've gotten a lot better at the, the hunt now, and I really like it. It's fun. It's also one of my buddy's favorite monsters, so we fight it a lot more. Okay. I'd love to see you try out Rise sometime. Eventually we'll get there, I imagine. It depends how long it takes to get through all these weapon challenges. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to get through all the weapon challenges in time for Wilds. And we will be going straight to Wilds as soon as Wilds comes out. But once Wilds settles down and I've done a lot of stuff in Wilds, we will likely go to Rise and Sunbreak because I have never played them. So 
Sunbreak's pretty complicated. We'll see. <laughs> Do you like how I knocked down the ZZ with the Kulu there? That was pretty sick. <laughs> how you liking the old Switchy? Oh, it's so fun. This thing hits so hard, it's crazy, dude. Massive damage. Big damage. I enjoy it. The thing that I wanted to do the most on the Switch Axe when I first played it was learn how to play the sword mode really well because the sword mode looks so cool. Oh, I love the sword mode. And I felt I feel like I've gotten a really good handle on it. And increasing my enjoyment of the weapon. <laughs> You like Toby Kodachi? Toby Kodachi is a little bit pushed in style. Not a big fan of the mashup of Squirrel and I don't know. It's too it's too Squirrel and Mousy for me. I don't know. It just doesn't fit well. I know there's a monster I like, but I haven't seen all the monster monsters guys from. So I'll see which is my favorite then. Nice. Guys, yeah, I know he's pretty. Sick. He's a cool monster. I'm glad they saved him for the Guiding Lands. I thought that was a great cut. 100 hours per weapon. More in wild. Oh, yeah. In, when we get to wild, I mean, maybe I'm showing my cards a little bit too much here. We'll see. The plan right now, without knowing anything about wilds, except for the one trailer they showed, is that I want to do... I want to continue this challenge run in wild. We'll see if it's what will happen with it. I don't know what's gonna happen. But we'll see. That's kind of the plan. In addition to other stuff, we're not just gonna be doing 100 hours with every weapon, no matter what, all the time. There's other stuff I wanna do in Wild. Because Wild's gonna be a, a brand new game for everybody. It could work for everyone. So we'll see. But that's that's one plan I'm working on. My game's saying no to online right now. I don't know why. Uh oh. That's no good. How can you do a super amped or amplified elemental discharge on charge blade? Oh man, okay. So Marcia, the thing you gotta do on charge blade is charge your shield. You have to do that to pull off all the other cool stuff charge blade can do. The way you charge your shield is you store up those files. As long as you have one file stored or, or you know, ready to be stored, then you can do the move. But you wanna try to get as many in there as you can. So getting up to five is the goal. When you do that, then you go for your um, super amplified elemental discharge move, but in the middle of it, you hit the guard button. And when you do that, it'll charge the files into the shield. Then you charge up your files again, and you uh, do the super amplified elemental discharge, and it'll pull off the super amplified elemental discharge. <laughs> yep. The only thing I still can't do is weaving between both modes fluidly. On the switch axe or the charge but Oh, I was not in the response. Switch axe or charge blade getter. A tip. Every monster has unique characteristics and patterns. Learn them through the hunt so you can beat it in the first hunt. Agreed. One of my favorite tips ever is uh, don't get hit by any attack and hit the monster and it'll eventually die. <laughs> Bro, yeah, sorry, dude. You ain't gonna do 100 hours weapon blind, right? No. I've seen all the controversy about that too. I'm intentionally not saying that. I'm not gonna put a video out. There's a lot of people are trying to get on that hype train. I'm not interested in ripping on somebody for that, but I I know what you're talking about. <laughs> That's like what Monster Hunter is, it sure is. My favorite tip is get good scrub. That's a good tip too. <laughs> Chop them up, serve them up for dinner. Good job. 
I'll check for you, man. Hey, good work. Oh, we got plenty of space. Plenty of space. So I got a high rank Anjanath before Pink Rathian. Yeah, it's a, it's a big hunt. Anjanath is tough every time you see them, and that's kind of the idea, right? Is they're they're barring you from things that are going to be tough, tougher than it. And he kind of gets a big spike. So take time to practice the Anjanath, right? Learn what he does, obviously. But if you haven't upgraded your armor or your weapons recently, especially high rank armor, don't use your low rank armor anymore. Go make high rank armor. Pretty much any high rank armor is going to be better than your low rank armor. If you haven't done that, that's going to make your life a lot easier. Won't let me connect to Phil to join session. Uh oh. I might have to remake the session then. We'll see. Here, birdie, birdie, birdie. Here, birdie. Learning process, yep. Yep. Birdie! That'll work. I'm gonna launch him. I'm not gonna launch him. Launch him this way, I guess. To the Dragonator, run. <laughs> Come here, bird. Come here, Boyd. Come on over here, Boyd. We all got dumpstered. <laughs> Take that. <laughs> That's what you get for spraying water at us. That was hilarious. <laughs> we kind of set ourselves up for that, didn't we? <laughs> Read my previous message. You failed with the tip I said with Blackfield. Blackfield is my bane. Sorry to hear, dude. Blackfield's a tough one. It takes time. I mean, really, if you want to make every fight trivial, you just take resistances against the monster you're fighting, honestly. Get the best armor you can craft in terms of defenses. Build resistance to whatever that monster does. No problem. That's pretty much 90% of the monsters in the game. That's how you beat them. Blackfield is the same, right? You need to build a Fluvia resistance. It'll be the easiest hunt you've had. Ooh, that's a good tail cut right there, yeah. Hey, that's a good end. <laughs> You focus legs. He only has one or two moves to protect his legs. For Anjanath, yeah, that's a good that's a good tip for Anjanath. Is focus the legs. Getting the trip is really nice. Then you can attack its face where it takes the most damage. <laughs> Take faster. <laughs> Imagine you're the monster and you wake up, look up, and see four guys with oversized weapons that explode on impact. The next second, your leg is broken, head is broken, other leg is broken, and then you die. <laughs> Good times. <laughs> oh, funny. Because if you like Sabaton and Viking music, try Brothers of Metal. I've listened to them before, actually. Quite a bit. Did we take all the tails? For this mission, yeah. Yep. Thanks for the tips. No problem. How long do you plan on streaming for today? The stream will end in two and a half hours. 2 p.m. my time. 2 p.m. And it's 11.40 right now. All right. Sounds like a casual Thursday evening for Brothers of Metal. <laughs> it is pretty normal music for me. That's, that's how I like listening, you know? 
Yeah, I gotta reset the session. All right, chat. Uh, I gotta redo the session here to get people in. So I will repost the session ID in just a second. Give me a sec though, cause I wanna see if we're gonna miss anything by doing that. Nope, okay, good, good, good. So where do I do that here? Online session, create one. Okay, if you're in my online session, I'm not I'm not ditching you. I just have to make a new session to get people in here. There it is. There's the new session ID. If you guys can uh, join in that one if you want. I've got spots for you. <laughs> I know you've been working hard out there. Have you heard the rock song Deathbringer from the Sky? I have not. I have not. I'll have to look it up. Another chicken quest. Here we are. And we'll eat. Oh, not bad. Oh, what dig man said, I got you, Paul. <laughs> That's pretty good, yeah. <laughs> Just another Thursday for hunters show up on my doorstep. <laughs> That's pretty great. <laughs> you see the guy that from the map by pressing N? Yep, yep, I did know that. Thanks for sharing though, I appreciate it. How's session working for you guys? You going okay? If it's not working, let me know so I can fix it. All right, yeah, I'll take it easy, okay? I believe you like it. It matches the Angrug and Rune Energy in the fight too. Nice. Yeah, I'll take a look at it. Worst part is it's just for a new top hat. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh, funny. All right. It's fixed for you? Good, good, good. Okay, I'm gonna jump in. You guys can jump in my quest. I just gotta get started. I don't wanna, I don't wanna wait. <laughs> gotta keep it going. Ooh, yeah. Well, chat, I hope you're having a fantastic day today and that even when live stream is over, you continue to have a great day. I got a birthday party I'm going to tonight for my sister. It'll be fun. Looking forward to celebrating with her. She just had a baby too, so it's gonna be kind of a, a crazy cool time to see my niece who's like a month and a half old and my sister. Plus the rest of my family will be there, which is great. Oh, run. oh, I went too early. Bummer. Sorry, Boyd. Ah, oh, sorry. Not. Is the Nogger easy? Ah. He gets easier. I don't think he's easy off the gate. Oh, I missed. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Got him, okay. We just chop, chop, chopping away. Keep coming. I might have to pick another quest to do. I don't know if I want to do chickens for a long time. <laughs> There's only so many chickens you can fight in a row before you're like, man, I just need some variety out here. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. It kind of depends how fast we do this though too, because if we get the, the hunts done really fast, then I'm not that worried about it. Because then we're actually making really steady progress. So I'm See if I can ah get hit by that guy. Yeah. All 
All right, chat, I got a question for you. This was brought to my attention the other day. I was told the other day that I run a challenge YouTube channel. We're, we're all about doing Monster Hunter challenges. Would you agree with that statement? Is that what is that what you expect when you watch a video from me? I mean, I know I have other videos on the channel, but when you think of Giddy Fox Gaming, what kind of channel is it? Except I mean, you can't just say it's a Monster Hunter channel. That's not good enough. Is it a, is it a challenge channel? Is it a tier list channel? Is it a goofy stories? Is it a inner, like humor channel? What do you guys, what would you guys say it is? Oh, that was a great hit. Oh my gosh. That was awesome. <laughs> 100 hour KFC production challenge. <laughs> think about your 100 hour weapon challenge and I think of your channel. Okay. 100 hour monster hunter challenge plus community nights. Ah. Challenge is streaming. Okay. Okay. I say challenge. Okay. Cool. Cool. That's good to know. It is interesting for me to hear that the other day because I've never considered my channel a challenge channel. Right, but this is this is somebody who has their head so far in the sand on their channel because that's all I do is look at all the details for this channel, right? That I, I haven't really considered my channel a challenge channel. Minus the videos that like do really well and that people have seen the most on my channel are the challenges that I do. There's more not challenge videos on my channel, but most people haven't seen those. Right? There's more tier lists and there's more like opinion pieces than there is challenges. But lately, I've, I've done a lot of challenges and they're doing well. So more people have seen them. So it's just interesting to think about. I, and I, I hope you guys don't hear me saying it's a bad thing or anything like that. I like it. It's fun. I got to really lean into challenges if that's what the channel is. Because I haven't been leaning into it. TBH the number 100. <laughs> 100 is a very specific thing that I chose for for the things I do for challenges, yeah. <laughs> oh, funny. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> Interesting. That's good to know. It's good to know. I appreciate the feedback. Challenges, huh? So if I came up with more challenges... I was going to ask you guys about a challenge thing, too. So... I think if you enjoy your own content, then everyone else will too. Oh, I agree. I enjoy my content a lot. It's it's kind of like all I watch, you know. <laughs> so here's here's something I'm I'm doing this week, y'all. Since you're here on stream, I'll give you a little sneak peek. Some of you know this already, actually. So normally, when I do the hundred hour challenges, the last two of them that I filmed, I did the hundred hours. And I live streamed as much as I could of those 100 hours. And then I took all of the recordings of those live streams and made one big video at the end of what all happened on that 100 hour challenge. So I, I took all the 100 hours and got it down into like an hour and 40 minute or a two hour video. That's how the first two went. This time for the switch axe, I decided instead of doing one two hour video, and all the live streams. What if I do all the live streams? That's not changing. But I do a video of kind of like the progression of the challenge. So the first video I'm doing is, here's what happened in low rank for the 100 hour challenge, right? And I know up front that sounds boring. You gotta trust me. It's not just like, I did low rank and it's over. There's There are the funny moments that happen on stream and the amazing hunts and the things that I learned Right, the cool things that happen plus the funny at the same time. That's what the video is about. But it's going to be like a 30 minute video for the low rank. And that's like 10 hours of video or something like that. 8 to 10 hours of recording boiled down to 30 minutes. And then the next video I'm going to do. Here's we finished high rank for the 100 hour challenge. And that'll come out next week Friday. And that'll be another 20 to 30 minute video or something like that. And it'll uh, it'll be a, a summary of like the funny moments that happened, finishing high rank, and then I'll keep going, right? And the idea being, 
if there's people who can't watch all eight hours or five hours of the live stream, which is totally understandable because that's a ton of time to sit and watch me live stream. Then here's like a summary of what happened in the challenge over that stream. And it's over a couple streams for some of them. Cause sometimes we just fight chickens for hours and I'm not going to make a whole video of me fighting chickens. No one, no one wants to see that. So I can like summarize all that up with a couple clips and then add it to the main story. So anyways, the reason why I'm bringing this up is, <clears throat> excuse me, if my channel is seen as a primarily challenge based channel, are these weekly summary videos something that you'd be interested in for the challenge? All right, to the Dragonator. Ooh, it's running. Okay. Dragonate with me, brothers and sisters. It is time for the Dragonation. <laughs> Don't get watered. We're on the firing line. Oh, that was close. <laughs> hey, all right, here we go. That'll do. <laughs> oh, funny. Okay. Okay, Limox hit me. Yeah. Or are you guys talking about something else? Yep. Okay, you're talking about something else. Are you going to do those summary videos and the movie link video for the 100 hour challenge? Yes. So, in the end, when the Switch Axe challenge is over, there will be a movie of what happened for the whole 100 hours. And, and the movie will be all of those weekly videos all smushed together. Right? Because that's what those weekly videos are for. They're for the, the weekly summary, it's all the highlights of what happened through the challenge. I'll put them all into one big video so you can watch it like a, a movie. And it's all gonna mesh together, right? So I'm not gonna leave the awkward transitions between the videos for each week so that it all flows well together, but it's gonna be the same ones, right? You know what I mean? You know what would be cool? For each weapon, a video of your first hunt and the final hunt to show the difference in style of play. That's exactly what the plan is, is the very beginning of the video, of the challenge is to show how bad I am with that weapon. <laughs> like, I'm really bad with that weapon. Cause I've never played it. But then as we go, we we go through the learning process at the beginning, the first, like through Baroth pretty much. Baroth and Joy Totus, all those hunts are like me just learning the weapon. And hopefully I've learned it by then. And if not, I've got more to go. And I pick up more as I go along, but the main part of the learning is happens in those four hunts. And then after that, it's all like the amazing things that happen the goofy things that happen, the hurdles along the way, right? And then we get to the end and the end is gonna be the last tail that we cut or the last one that we break or whatever else, right? And it'll look very different between very different between hunt one and hunt whatever the last monster is. Sounds good, maybe if it's an incentive to go watch the VODs. That's, that's where it could lead as well. What I'm trying to do with these weekly video summary things is to help people who want to watch these 100 hour challenges but can't watch a hundred hours of VODs. Like I I can't watch anyone else do a hundred hour challenge right now. If there's anybody on YouTube doing a hundred hour challenge, I can't watch the VODs. I don't have time. I don't have time to watch it all, but I would love to watch a weekly summary of it. I would love to see what people did for those big challenges. That's kind of where I was going with this idea was to, to provide a space for people to watch the hundred hour challenges along the way, but they don't have to watch every minute to pull something out of it, you know? Hmm, interesting, interesting thoughts. I think I think what I'm mostly trying to, the reason why I'm telling you guys this is like, is that something that you would watch? And you guys are all here on a live stream. So you're watching me live stream the thing. Would you watch the summary of what happened? Like this Friday is the first video for the summary. Are, would you be willing to watch that video to show what I thought were the hilarious and hard moments of the first stream for the Switch Axe? Would you guys enjoy that? Gotta go, Tails. Have a good rest of the stream of day. Ironic, good to have you here, friend. Thanks for hanging out. I'm glad we got to hunt together. I'll catch you the next one, okay? I don't care what you make. <laughs> well, that's really nice of you. <laughs> yes, okay. That's good. That's nice of you. Okay. I'll watch the full VODs and summaries. Oh, man. Okay. Okay, cool. See you, Marcia. Have a great day. Thanks for hanging. Okay. Cool. Well, that's good to know. That's good to know. I think I think I've just been kind of 
Man, I've been thinking about this video for a few weeks now on whether I should even do it or not. Because the VODs already exist, so people can go watch them. But I'm, I'm also the, the person in my audience who can't watch my own VODs. I don't have time to watch somebody do 100 hours of stuff. And so I wanted to ask, I want to ask my community. I want to ask you guys and see if I have VODs and I do a weekly summary, is that going to be in line with what you think this channel is should be doing? You know, is this what this uh, challenge channel does? Or do I need to mix it up and do something different, try something else out? I'm not sure, but that's why I ask for feedback. It helps me deduct things a little bit easier, you know? I'd watch the summary, yeah, but then it'd be hard to want to watch the movie. Anything else to the summary would be the movie. Agreed. I don't think that the movie is going to be for everyone, no matter what. Because if you've watched all my weekly summaries, then you'd be wondering, like, okay, well, this is just the weekly summaries over again. But there are people who won't watch the weekly summaries or the VOD, but they'll watch the movie, right? And for me, to make the movie isn't additional time editing for me. Because it's already done. I just, I mash them all together and I release the movie all together. So I think that the movie would be in a, an additional video when the challenge is over. It wouldn't replace something else, if that makes sense. Because once I finish the this weapon challenge with the Swax, I'm going to go right into the next weapon challenge. And we'll keep recording and doing weekly summaries of the next challenge, right? Yes, because I can't see if the entire stream, so it allows me to catch up. That's part of what I'm thinking too, right? Is five hours even now. We've cut streams down to five hours instead of eight hours because I can't do eight hours. I just don't have the time anymore to do it. But there are people who can't stay for more than 20 minutes. And I wouldn't ever expect people to stay for 20 minutes or miss out. That's just, that's not fun, you know? I want people to be a part of the ride. They may not see every detail in these summary videos because I'm not going to put every detail in, but I am going to put in the best parts <coughs> that made that stream awesome, right? It's like people can be a part of the journey even if they weren't there for the live stream. That's kind of what I was going with. Okay, okay, cool. Yeah, the movie would probably get brought down a bit. Yeah, I actually think there'd be a whole other audience of people who would watch the video, the, the movie, but wouldn't watch the weekly summary. I think there's people out there that will do that. So, instead of choosing between the two, I think I'm going to do both on that regard so I can hit more people who can watch in different ways, you know? For those who can't watch the odds, don't have time for the full-length movie. Right, right, yep. Okay, okay, cool. Well, I'm glad you guys are tracking with me on this. It's something that makes sense. Because that, that for me is a lot of confidence to know that what I'm thinking is probably a good idea to try. Because if I do this Swag Axe weekly video thing, that's like eight videos. In the, it might be five, five or six videos by the end, but I'm thinking it might be eight. Like that, That's two months of videos for me to make those, you know? And if that's what people don't want to see, I don't want to make two months of videos that people don't <laughs> but if it's something you're like, oh no, that makes sense, because then I can catch up on stuff, or I can see the parts I miss. That's what I want. That's what I want. Out of it. So it might be better that way. I also watch for the Warhammer references. You agree with that being Bros. a Beaver? Yeah! Okay. That's a very niche reason to watch my channel, but I'm in on it, Lon. I'm in on it. <laughs> Well, thanks, chat. I I don't I know you can't fully understand how much it means to me to hear that feedback because I I literally stay up all night thinking about stuff like that because I want to make the best use of my time for videos that I make and what things that you guys are gonna like and people who are here I want to I mean, you guys are here I want to make stuff for you you guys like what I make there are some people here who will watch whatever I make no matter what and I really appreciate that because I don't have to worry about you guys you guys will just watch anything. There are lots of people who won't watch anything that I make, and I don't have a problem with those people at all. I want to figure out what you want to watch. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Does that make sense? The channel's not for me. I don't make videos just for me, though I make videos that I think are hilarious and all that stuff because it's fun. But I want to make videos that you guys like too. I don't want to just make stuff that I like. So getting some feedback really helps a lot. I'm sure your content will be awesome as long as you're having fun. Well, that ain't changing. I promise you that, Limai. If I ain't having fun, then I ain't doing this. I'll switch it up. Yeah, I'm having a blast. This is what this is what I want to be doing. I actually just got an offer from my my bus company. I, I work for the City Lines here in town, and they called me and they're like, "Hey Tails, 
we just had a spot open up where you can be a regular driver instead of a substitute driver driver for the bus it would be every day monday through friday from 2 30 to 4 to 6 30 to drive this bus route it would be a regular 20 hours a week part-time job which would pay my bills and everything and i turned it down i turned it down and i i turned it down for a few reasons right i turned down the the job security that i'd have because i'd have a regular schedule and knowing that i'd be making the income i need to pay my bills but what it does is it reduces all my time i can do on youtube and i love doing youtube so much that i'm willing to take the lack of job security to make stuff that you guys like because i'm having so fun doing it too so it's a pretty interesting world i'm in right now where i get to make a choice like that so thanks to all you guys for making that available for me too it's because the channel is doing so well that i'm able to say you know maybe i don't want to drive bus monday through friday every day i'm gonna make more videos Other people notice it or not, YouTubers should have more fun and are also more fun. I totally agree with that. Yeah. I'm the same way when I watch creators on YouTube. I can tell when YouTubers aren't having fun. And if they're not having fun, then I'm out because they're not passionate about it, you know. I might still pay the bills, that sounds great. Yep, yep. I'll still be a substitute driver for the bus company. I'm still going to be making the same money I'm making now. But I could have been making more by just driving bus every day. But I wouldn't have been able to do YouTube. I wouldn't have time. Must have felt great and weird at the same time. It felt weird because my wife was sitting right next to me when I got the call. They called my phone and they told me about it. And my wife's sitting there and I'm like, well, I think I can't do it. I'll still substitute drive for you, but I'm not gonna be able to commit to Monday through Friday. They said, no worries. And my wife's looking at me like, you're gonna, you're gonna, she's not saying that I'm not able to do YouTube, but she knows it's a big risk for me to turn that down because I really like that bus driving job. It pays the bills. It's not the most high paying job ever, but it's really, awesome for getting content figured out. I can sit in a bus for four hours and not talk to anybody. And I just think about ideas for videos. Having that every day would be awesome, except that I wouldn't have time to actually make the video. So. Kales, can you roll back augments? There is an option for you to clear all the augments. I don't think you can remove one augment at a time. So if you don't like the augments on your weapon, I think you're gonna have to put it back down to its base form. But yes, you don't have to get a whole new weapon. Hey Miko, how we doing? Live is tough, man. Love your videos. Love your vibes that you get. Keep it up. Thanks, Miko. I appreciate that. I love being live. It's fun. It's fun. Uh, there's a reason why I had to cut down to five hours instead of eight, though. Eight was, eight was really tough. But I really do enjoy doing this. It's super fun. All right, I'm going to the dragon here. I'm on it. You ever have thoughts to try Monster Hunter Stories 2? Yes, I want to play it so bad. I want to play it so bad. <laughs> I don't have time. That's the main issue is I just don't have time to play it. At some point, I'm going to play it because someone told me it's Pokemon and Monster Hunter mixed together. And to me, that's like the perfect mix of games. <laughs> hey, Sniper, what's up? How we doing, friend? Good to have you here. Hope things are going well. I bought that game. I played it for 20 hours, five days straight. It took me 100 hours for this. Dang. You must have really liked it. That's a lot of hours to play in a short amount of time. If I could do that with the weapon challenges, I'd be done in 10 weeks. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm glad you liked it. That's great. Yeah, I'm really interested in playing it. I just don't have time. Helldivers is up. My life has been consumed. Dude, Helldivers is so good. Oh my gosh, I love Helldivers. All of my friends from middle school are playing it right now. I've got like six or seven guys that I've known for 20 years, and we're all playing Helldivers. It's such a good time. And I don't have time to play that either. <laughs> but I, it's easier to, for me to commit to that because it's 20, 30 minute rounds instead of a whole story I have to finish. Don't have fun to play it with, unfortunately. Lumox, if you want to play Helldivers, jump onto my second channel. This is an open invite for everybody, by the way. If you like games other than Monster Hunter and you want to play with people, go to my second channel. I'm playing Helldivers on there. And you can jump in my games and play with me if you want. I'm happy to have you. Super fun. Second channel is called Giddy Fox Gaming After Hours, and you can find a link to it on the main channel. If you just go to my, my channel now, Giddy Fox Gaming, scroll to the bottom. And there's a featured channel list on there, and it's on there. So. 
I'm gonna go spread democracy again. Sounds good, Sniper. Good luck. Hope it goes well. <laughs> Take it easy, okay? <laughs> We're super. How's Hell Diver solo? It's kind of tough. The lower difficulties aren't too bad, but the higher difficulties you get swarmed pretty fast. So if you if you're out of place, it gets pretty tough. It's a it's a better multiplayer game by far, and they have a way for you to multiplay with random people. Uh, so if as long as you can get in with other players, it's not bad. But playing with friends on a call is is the absolute best way to play for sure. Yeah, it's a hard game. When you go up in difficulty, it scales pretty hard. It's very fun though. Yangaruga. I don't think we have regular Yangaruga, y'all. I'm double checking right now. Yep, we need Yangaruga. Okay, chat, I'll be back in just a few. I gotta take out this Yangaruga. Okay, let's get attack up large. I'll be waiting for you, sounds good. Sounds good, yeah, when I get time, when I get time, I will be on the second channel playing. Right now, like I said, I've been really busy lately. But as soon as I get time, I'll be there. Sounds fun. Does all divers have arm wrestling? No. They've got they've got high fives, handshakes, and hugs. <laughs> Blob is also busy with stuff for second channel. Oh, you know it. Yeah, that's gonna be fun too. Blob's been working on a uh, a Minecraft mod pack, and I'm excited to give that a shot. It's gonna be so sweet. Okay, let's eat some shroomies. Let's go get Yan Garuga. Don't forget the explosions. With which one? Wait, the explosions for what? What did I miss? Oh, hell divers. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> High fives, handshakes, hugs, and explosions. Lots of them. <laughs> I get talking about too many things at once and I can't keep it all, all straight anymore. There he is. Look at that little guy. Oh, I just missed that. Strategies are such an awesome content. Right? They're just abilities like you have in any other game. Right? Think of like Apex, League of Legends. They, all those characters in those games have abilities. But the fact that you have to stop running and type in a code to get your stratagems changes the game just enough to make it amazing. Oh, I love it. It's so good. Man, we went from fighting four chickens to fighting one really big angry chicken. Oh, yeah. Take it. Burgers are done, Tails. All 12 patties. That's a lot of patties. Congrats, Justin. Dude, you're making me hungry, man. I haven't eaten yet today, and I need to, because I'm starving. <laughs> oh, that was a good dodge. Accidental, but we did get it. I need to soften the steel a little bit. There we go. Easy peasy. Right in the face. Oh, I forgot to do some. Whoopsie! Crockpots a godsend. My wife says the same thing. Yeah, they're nice. They save a lot of time, right? <laughs> I'm just gonna keep clutching on the steel while I can. That'll do. Yes, that was so good. That's exactly what I wanted there. Oh my gosh, that was nice. Come here, you. I want this tail. We're gonna take it right off ya. Add it to my collection. Oh, get vine trapped. Come on, let me pop this. Yes, here we go. That was nice. All right, chop chop time. Oh yeah, that's nice. 
Oh, yes! Woo, baby! That's so good! We got another one! Holy cows! What a day! What a day! Man, we are wrecking we are wrecking the guiding lands today. Woo! Wow, we Goodness gracious. Ooh, that was close. That was close. Oh, that one hit us. Axe charge for jailbreak is my favorite move. We just missed it on this guy, but we did get it earlier today. <laughs> oh, I dodged that. Oh, that was huge. Give me that face. That's still 28. No, no, it's more than that. It's 33? 32? Oh yeah, we are crushing. Oh my gosh, Punchy, that was great! Woo! Yeah, that's big, that's big. Oh my gosh, Punchy again! <laughs> Oh, baby. I think we've broken everything on this guy. Ah! I need a sharpen, though. Okay, good. He left. We can sharpen. <laughs> Woo, we're getting him. It's just going to go slower and slower, though. Yes, it is. The, the part that needs to speed up now is the leveling up of the Guiding Lands regions. Which currently we can't do until we get our region unlock quest. Which is why we're spending so much time fighting chickens. But it will eventually get there. Yep. We are, yeah, it's a good pace for sure. How many hours? Still 100 now? Let's see, it's 1210 now. We started at 54 this morning. So it's been three hours. Sorry, hour 57 currently. So there's 43 hours left in the challenge and then it's all over. Oh man, we are shrekking this guy. Oh, thank you, Jaggers. <laughs> I wondered if I would do that. Tail, thank you. I forgot about it. Thank you. I'll go back for it. Oh, I flubbed that. I was trying to do the clagger thing, wreck a little damage in, and then stagger it, but it didn't work. I'm still practicing that. Just missed that. Ooh! Sorry about your face, dude. Oh, we're bouncing. Oh, we are bouncing off those wings. Oh my god. That doesn't matter. We're gonna cap it. Holy crap, that was a fast hunt, y'all! We killed that thing! Oh, we got him so good. Oh my gosh. Poor guy. Don't you kind of feel bad for him? I think we broke every single part on him. Pretty sure. Man, that was insane. Kind of cleaned up my completely messy kitchen while the chicken's still in the crock pot. Good on you for cleaning it up even afterwards. My wife and I have a problem with that with food. We'll cook food and then we don't clean up the kitchen and then the next day we have to deal with it. <laughs> Normally I stay away from bullies, but you're cool. <laughs> I mean, we are... We are wrecking face right now. Oh, it's been so good. There should be a monster here. Bad day by Daniel Power when you break every part. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. That's a great mod idea. 
If I had a, a stream deck, I could set that up, actually. We could just do it for stream. That'd be super funny. There we go. All right, I'll go get the tail before it despawns. Wow. Man, we crushed that guy. That was not close. Where's the vines down here? I always lose track of these things. There it is. Okay, where's the tail at? <laughs> Where did we cut it off? Over here. There it is. I don't know if mods are a good idea because I don't think Capcom likes mods much. Agreed. I could just set up a, a stream deck though once I get a stream deck. And just set a sound button. So like when I break every part, I just hit the sound button and it'll play the song. I could do that. The problem is if I'll get the DMCA'd for that. <laughs> Maybe if it played like the first two notes of it or something. <laughs> All right. And we're at master rank 64. That's pretty good. Okay. And then let's uh, double check our lures over here. I don't think we got a new one that we need. Uh, was Coral Puke Puke taken care of? Yeah, we got that one. Okay. Let's add the anchor. We've got all these already. All right, let's leave here. And then I gotta go use the bathroom. <laughs> I apologize in advance. Whew. It's mainly because if I don't, it's gonna be like 10 times harder to clean all the food off the pot span. I totally agree. I totally agree. We run ourselves into problems when we do that because we, we just, we don't like to clean stuff. So, <laughs> you know. Always found weird ammo. Game creators should be more open to modders as they extend the re replayability of each game. Yeah. I don't mind mods and games. I think they're fun. So what would be a great stream stream deck you reckon? The one that everyone gets all the time is the Elgato stream deck. It's like a, it's got a bunch of buttons on it, like 15, 16 buttons on it. And you can program all the buttons for different actions on stream. So I can, I can program the button where I click it and it'll play a song or it'll switch scenes on the OBS, right? So if I go from this scene over to this scene, like you can click a button and just, it just clicks the button and does it versus me pulling up OBS and all that stuff, so, yeah. All right, chat, I gotta use the bathroom. I will be right back. I'm gonna let you hang with Punchy just for a second here. Um, make sure Punchy stays in check, okay? I need you to babysit him. He's been getting kinda, he's been acting up a little bit, so just keep an eye on him for me real fast. I will be back in just a minute or two and then we'll continue on the challenge, okay? Be right back.
I've returned. Hey chat, thanks for your patience. Okay. Let's check out what we got here. Uh-oh. That's good news for us. Back into the guide as we go! <laughs> what a great way to come back from the restroom, huh? <laughs> the only one truly saves sales. You talking about Punchy? Punchy's gonna wreck things when I when you guys are gone or when I'm gone. That's just how Punchy is sometimes. He gets a little moody, you know. You gotta be careful with him. <laughs> Tails, Punchy committed server acts of murder and arson. Oh my gosh, Punchy! What happened? <laughs> hey Wolf, how we doing? How's the chill chopping going? We've gotten eight tails today, I think. It's eight or nine. It's a lot. We're on 33, 32 or 33. I can't keep track of how many we've gotten because we've gotten so many. It's been just, it's been insane. It's been very good. So we're kind of on the grind right now of getting our Guiding Lands regions leveled up, which we have to level up our master rank in order to do that. So I'm working on that. But as we fight chickens, I go into the Guiding Lands and pick up the monsters that are new that we haven't cut the tail off of. And there is an Elder Dragon on the map right now. And we're going to find out which one it is somehow. It should show up here, I thought, but that's right. So we've only got level five regions that they can spawn in. So it's going to be a forest one or it's going to be Elder's Recess. And I'm going to guess that it's Kishala Deora because it's all like windy and junk out here, unfortunately. But we can get this off our list, which is good. I, I would rather not fight Kishala later. So let's go get them. I'm going to guess it's Kishala Deora. I don't know for sure, but I'm going to guess. All right, let's see here. 33, okay. Yeah, dude, we're like kicking butt. 33 out of 45, we got 12 tails left. We're gonna get another one here. Okay, nothing here. That's bad news. All right, we need to find a track like ASAP then. The only other place it could be is the Elder's Recess. And I can't think of what it would be. Maybe Velcana? Because I think Velcana can spawn in the Elder's Recess, but usually it's like, Foggy on the map when we're running around. Is Kachala Seals cuttable? It is, yes. I wish it wasn't so we wouldn't have to fight it, you know? <laughs> Alright, what do we got here? Nightshade Palumu. I already know that one. It can't be over there. That or it's not a Elder Dragon. It doesn't have to be an Elder Dragon here. But there's only two on the map. There's only two monsters on the map. It's got to be an Elder Dragon. There's no way it's not. Hey, Sleazy, how we doing? Good to have you here. You guys do great damage to the tail. I mean, that's kind of what Kashala is, though, right? Everything's great damage on Kashala, unfortunately. He's got to soften it up with the claw, unfortunately. Okay. It, are we going to find a track down here? Track, please. Track, please. No track. I'm gonna go down to the Elder's Recess, see if it's here. Oh! Oh, it's a Lunastra?! Oh my gosh! Okay! This- this hunt sucks! This hunt sucks a lot! Oh, this hunt really sucks. Strap in, everybody! This is gonna be- this is gonna be a thing. Oh my gosh, no. Okay. Well, let's get this out of the way. We just need the tail! We just need the tail. Okay. We don't have to win. I want to win, but we don't have to. We just need the tail. All right, good start. We're gonna do our little heavy swing attack. Oh, we fade slashed on accident. Now it's mad, that's fine. Understandable. We need to get out of here. Oh gosh, we are gonna light up here. Hell of a ride? Yeah, dude, tell me about it. It's gonna be bad. Potentially. Alright, we got that. Oh, get wrecked. 
Punchy placed that trap perfectly. Oh no, no he didn't. Ah, we're burning. We're cooking. Help, get me out of here. Oh man. If we had speed eating, we would have lived through that. <laughs> oh, what I say, what I say, it's gonna be bad, everybody. <laughs> That's okay. If we if we would have had speed eating there, we would have been fine. Where's my ancient potion at? Am I blind? I'm blind. Okay. Down we go. Round number 1.5, because we never actually got through a full round. <laughs> oh, funny. You died to actually fortify. That's exactly what it was. Yeah, I'm glad you caught that. <laughs> That's exactly what it was for. Yes, on purpose. It was the plan all along. Soften up the tail, get some chip damage in, activate fortify, move on. Also drink cool drink. That's... We remembered that too. We definitely, definitely needed that last time and didn't do it. But now that we have Fortify it, we're all geared up. <laughs> oh man. Ouch. Dude, this thing hurts. Oh, it hurts so bad. Oh, get wrecked, dude. <laughs> This is good. Yes. Get me around there. Okay. All right, all right, all right. That's good, that's good, that's good. Fortify for the pissed off kitty from hell. Yeah, tell me about it, dude. <laughs> oh, we missed! Okay, that's fine. Get me up here. Get me up here! All right, there we go. No, we're gonna get thrown off it! <laughs> Tails, you gotta hit those claw shots, man. Oh, okay, we can do it. We can do it. We can do it. Get up there. All right, get the soften. Good job, good job. One step at a time, that's all we need. Got this quick. Try to get him out of the lava if we can, that'd be great. All right, well, if he's gonna play in the lava, I'm gonna get this, yeah. Ow, that's fine. He's cooking in a bad way. <laughs> yeah. Oh, inches away. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Ah! Don't want hurt. How about your third? Third wall. Okay, tail. You're mine. Come here, tail. Come here. Yo! Yes! Oh my gosh, we did it! Woo, baby! That's nice. That's nice. We got what we came for, everybody. We're good. We're good. Oh my gosh, that's nice. Yes. <laughs> what a good attack to get that tail cut on, too. Oh my word. Yuppers. Let's grab that. With the big chop, you know how we overhead smashed that tail right into oblivion. It's on the ground now. I'll refresh this timer. Grab his face. No, okay, that's fine. We'll go for the sharpen. Woo, baby! Yes! Rocksteady would be nice right now. It sure would. We got the tail, though. That's all that matters. I'm fine without it. <laughs> Rocksteady Mantle makes it so that you don't get interrupted from your attacks. The roars don't stop you. Even getting hit doesn't stop you. It doesn't knock you over. And that's dangerous because you'll just keep getting hit without getting knocked over. You'll keep taking damage from the monster. But 
when you're on the monster's face and you want to do a claw attack, or you're in the middle of a zero sum discharge and you want to finish, it helps you not get knocked around. It's really, really good. Really good. Ah. The last with spawn of corn, I'm certain. I think so too. It is a demon in disguise. <laughs> we probably need to heal this. Yeah. I tried. Yes, it does do damage direction as well, which is super nice. Okay. Can we grab one of these? Yeah. If you could so kindly come down from there, that'd be great. I can't hit you that that far up. Thank you. Oh, no way. That'll work. That'll work. That'll work. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right. I took down your your girlfriend earlier. Your boyfriend. I don't remember if this is the boy or the girl. But I took down the other one earlier today. Now we're going to get this one. Kaboom. Big damage. Big damage. Here we go. I'll, I'll be poisoned, that's fine. Come on, give me a minute. Oh, we just missed. Ah! Yeah! Give me a minute. Do you also mail? Okay, okay. So we took down the boyfriend earlier. There we go. Alright, I would love a. One of these would be great. And one of these. And we're back in it. Oh, we're gonna get boom. Oh, we got boom. The boomage was real. Whoop. Whoop. Yeah. Yes, very good. Oh, counterattack. <laughs> All right, come on, let's kick this guy. Yeah, see if we can get him here. I'm just planning on him being asleep here. I planned incorrectly. Sad. Whoop. That'll work. Okay, well we kinda turned it around there. We only we only carded once so far, but now we're kinda taking it out. Pretty good hunt. I'll take it. <laughs> but a monster's wild and you just say no. Exactly. Get out of my face, dude. No more wild men. <laughs> I'm done with that. The two most powerful letters in the alphabet. N O. <laughs> Can't say that all the friends I have don't like Monster Hunter despite not having watched gameplay it or played it. But it's good as kinda not fair. I get it. People are pretty particular with how they spend time. My friends are the same way. And my friends have seen me play it now, but they won't give it a shot. That's fine, they don't have to. I don't I'm not mad at them. You know what they want. But I also have the right to not play the games they want to play. You know? <laughs> if you're looking for people to play with, you're in the right spot. Because I got lots of people around here who like to play with other people. And we're a pretty great community. I've said it many times. I think I have the best community on the internet. Oh, baby. Yes, I'll take that. Oh, I have neutraled. Oh, that 
was gonna be sick. Whoop. I was that friend until somebody gave me a shot. Now I'm 200, 200 hours in the world. It can happen to anybody. I, it's a great game. And I understand why people don't take chances on games. I get it. There's so many games out there that it's hard to know which ones are going to actually be worth the time, you know? Especially since games cost money. Thankfully, right now, for those who are watching right now and want to get into Monster Hunter, you're in the right time because it just went on sale on Steam. You can get the full game and the DLC for 20 bucks. That is insane price. Also, I'm dead. I'm not dead. Not even close, baby. Not even close. Uh, Monster Hunter World and Iceborne are super cheap right now. They just went on sale a couple days ago. It's 20 bucks for the full set. It's under $10 for just the base game. So if you want to try a game that's going to definitely you'll get more than $10 worth of time out of it. Now's the time. Oh, yeah. You dead yet, Lunastra? You about done? Yeah. Skoy, what's up, dude? How you doing, man? Good to have you here. Skoy, you're missing out today, man. I've got... What, nine tail cuts today, y'all? Is it nine? I'm at 33, and this is going to be number 34 tail cuts on the challenge today. Out of 46. I got 12 left. We've been crushing it today. It's insane. Oh, I'm going to die here, though. <laughs> yeah, we're at, we're at a total of 33 or 34. Oh, my gosh. Am I dead? Stay down, tails. Stay down. Eat, eat that mushroom. Yes! Okay, we're alive. We're fine. Not even close. I'm pretty sure we're at 30, 34. Hello, face. I'll stick my sword in your face. Hiya! Oh, or not. Okay. I got one Mandragora left. I gotta make this, this health count. Alright, we'll get rid of it right now. Yeah? Oh, yeah. All right, there we go. There we go. Oh, gosh. Oh, it's pain. It's not pain. We interrupted it. Did we interrupt it? No, we just dodged it. Good job, us. Woo. Okay. Come on, baby. Mandragora time. Yummy. Yummy. All right. Come here. Would you please die, Mandragora? I need you to die. Whoop. <laughs> we were talking about you earlier today, Skoy. I was talking about our conversation on Discord that we got the chance to hang out. So I was telling him that you told me it was a Swede word for your name. <laughs> Good to have you here, man. Hope things are going well today. Wee! Thought I could dodge through that. Gonna listen in while working? Sounds good, man. Sounds good. I hope work goes great. Oh, God. I'll only be on for another like hour, 20 minutes. So we'll have to figure out something to do after that. But for now, I got some sweet, sweet Tails ASMR for you. <laughs> okay. All right. We do this, then we go in. <laughs> Are you on the Guiding Lands? Yes, this is the Guiding Lands. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, he's back. Oh, he's limping too. That's good news. Okay, well, we're not going to be able to bomb him then because we're too close to him to sleep. Unless I can run really fast here. Please go to sleep. Please go to sleep. Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. Oh, that's just lucky right there. Tail Samar? Oh, that's really good. I need to I need to patent that. Copyright that. Tail Samar. Andre, what's up? How are we doing, friend? Good to have you here. Hope you're doing well. Mr. Mayo, how are we doing? Just watched the 100 Monsters Guiding Lands yesterday. That thing is so damn funny. I'm really glad you enjoyed it. That was a fun, a fun challenge. 
I've actually done two of them, Mr. Mayo. So if you've only seen one of the videos, go find my second one on my channel too, because the second one was also great. <laughs> oh, ow. AK, how we doing? Good to have you here. Thanks for hanging with me. I hope you're doing well. Dude, I'm doing good. Thanks for asking. We are having, we are having one heck of a day in the guiding lands. I've got so many tails I've collected. It's been great. Oh, we got the face break there too. That's awesome. Well, lucky for you, I haven't copyrighted it yet. I better move fast, huh? <laughs> Oi! <laughs> Tail Samar. What's it gonna be? Is it just my quiet tails laughter every now and then? Be sitting quietly like it is now, and then it's just like. <laughs> just every now and then. A little. <laughs> Put your right to sleep. <laughs> that poor F9, I know, dude. That was such a great moment to that challenge. I love that. <laughs> Ow! Ow, no! We're gonna die! Oh, we're still alive! Okay. Not even close. Alright, I just need you to die, dude. I've already bombed your face. Your head's broken. I took your tail. Your wings are hanging by a thread. If you could, if you could so kindly just be done, that'd be great. Oh my gosh! Or not? I mean, don't breathe fire on me. That'd be really helpful too. Ah, okay. Why don't you hit me? We're we're out of potions or out of uh, manager gores, Everybody, we gotta use these potions now. Come on, baby. You stop it. You stop it right now, cat. I'm done with you. Sounds like a neutralizing the swags. <laughs> You're crying right now. <laughs> I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep doing that for the ASMR. Good job, Punchy. <laughs> I make you guys a monster hunter sound pack. You can replace the noises that one monster makes with just my laughter over and over again. Oh, there we go. <laughs> How many ages have I killed him? How many ages have killed me? Have I? I've been carded by Lunastra for sure. I don't know if I've been carded otherwise today though. I'm not sure. It hasn't been many. I've been doing pretty good. All right, here we go. Oh, in the 100 hunts? Oh, that's a lot. I've definitely... Hey, we got it in the sky. <laughs> that wasn't so bad, y'all. That went pretty good. I, I thought that it was going to be a lot worse, but it actually went pretty good. I'll take it. I'll definitely take it. Oh, my goodness. Another tail off the list, too. That's fantastic. Bro fell off, yeah. <laughs> Okay, did we get its tail earlier? I think we did. Nice, okay. Back to camp. Not bad. <laughs> More like Lou Nostra. <laughs> nah, bro. No tail for you. Okay, we got him. All right, I'll get you a final count here in just a second. We're gonna report this first. What is our current count of tails? Incoming number. What's this guy? Pity sliding. Hot trash. And we're at Master Rank 64, that's pretty good. Okay, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Nope, I miscounted. Gosh dang it, all tails. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. 34! 34 out of 46, we got 12 left. Ooh, that's nice. That's very nice. That's what I like to hear. Mm. How has luck been on the jewels? So good. Yeah, we've done so much better on jewels this character than we did for the others. It's been awesome. <laughs> Tails challenge right now. How many times can I cut myself off of monsters? <laughs> I like it. I like it. 
Uh, we're yeah, we're really on track. We started at hour 54 this morning. It's been almost four hours, so we'll be at hour 58, and I've got 12 tails left to get. Have a look around. They're the hardest tails to get. I mean, that's the hard part with it, right? Is the further into the game we go, the harder they get. But we don't have that many left, which is great. Streamer luck kicking in, it sure is. We cashed in all of it today. <laughs> or for this uh, run, anyways. All right, we don't need any of those. Chicken time. Y'all, if you want to help me fight some chickens, I'm back. Sorry for the delay, but we had, we had stuff we had to do. It's chicken time. All right, let me grab some food here. The session ID is pinned to the top of chat. If you guys want to join me on these chicken hunts, feel free. I'm going to get started on the hunt right now just so I don't waste time. But once you get here, I'll be happy to hunt with you. It's super fun. Good stuff. You guys don't even know how pumped I am. It's been such a good day, progress-wise. And, uh... I mean, I know I talked about it earlier, but Skoy's here, so I gotta, I gotta encourage him, you know. I really enjoyed the conversation Skoy and I had last night. Really gives me just that big, you know, push into high gear for what I want to be doing with YouTube and stuff. Fun to talk to other creators, so. It's been a good, it's been a good 24 hours. Minus the sleep part. I'm not sleeping very well. That's, that's something I gotta get figured out. I'm working on that, don't worry. Double chicken, let's go! Pew! One chicken, bummer. Thought we had them both. <laughs> Why hunting chickens? Because my master rank is only level 64 right now, and I have to get to level 69 to unlock region level six in the guiding lands. And this is the best way to get master rank easily, is to fight these four chickens. So we're gonna do this, but in between each hunt, I'll check what monsters are in the guiding lands. And once we uh, cycle through those, if there's no new monsters, then we'll fight chickens again. Otherwise, we'll go into the guy's hands. Hey, Jib Jam! A good 48 hours? You're right. The 24 hours before the yesterday were also great because I got to hang with Jib Jam. <laughs> How you doing, friend? Thanks for hanging with me today. Glad to have you here. I really enjoyed Commander on Sunday, dude. It was really fun. I've been watching some videos on YouTube for Commander to see if there's something I can do in that conversation, you know? 99 for Runer, correct, yeah. So if I wanna get Runer Narigante, I have to get up to MR99. What we're gonna do though, what, what will likely happen is I'm gonna get every tail of every monster of the game except for Runer Narigante and Alatrion. Once I have all those done, then I just have to grind out the MR to get Runer Narigante spawned and then we'll go fight Alatrion. That's likely what's gonna happen. But for now, I wanna get level six so that we can keep uh, hunting monster the guidelines without wasting the experience. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Face attack. Oh, rock attack. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. That's funny. Launch him. Boom, baby. <laughs> Boom. Give me up here. There we go. All right. That's a metallic grass yet. They're, yep, they're region level six. So I gotta do those still. They're coming up though. So that's another big reason why I wanna hit level six. Cause there's the two metallic grass plus uh, Scardia and Garuga are level six guided lands regions. I need to get those. Then I need to get one region to level seven for Rune or Nergy Dante. Uh, I also need to get Stygian Zenogre. I forgot about that. I don't think he's level six, though. I think he's level five for Tundra. I'm pretty sure. By the way, Tails, do you have a PO box? I don't yet. I've been thinking about getting one, but I, I haven't wanted to add the monthly bill to it yet. I really ought to set one up though. You're like the third person that's asked me in the last two weeks if I have one, which means people want to send me stuff, which is really nice of them. I, I never thought I would have people who would want to just send me stuff for the fun of it. And I would love to have that. If that's something you guys want to do, I, I want to do it, but I have to set up the PO box. 
Just didn't think people would want to, you know. So if that's something that uh, y'all think I should do. I'll look into it more and see if I make the commitment for it. Is Lunastra Swag's blast with power files? I have no idea. I'll have to go take a look at the end. That was the first Lunastra that we hunted. <laughs> time one more time we cannot get temporal with tails that's true you could you could i'm not gonna do it though i appreciate the uh, enthusiasm but i don't think we need it i don't think we need it we might need it for a latrion but I, I don't think we're gonna need it i'm taking a gamble i'm not wasting that time you know <laughs> we'll see we'll see More bops. I don't need all these parts. I don't know why I carved this. It doesn't matter. We're not building any of this gear. I'm gonna go load up the cannon. We don't need the money. We're not changing our out our uh, what's it called? Let's just say outfit. That's not our equipment. <laughs> Anytime soon. I think the next time we're changing equipment, if we need to is going to be on the Latrion. I don't think we need to do it anytime sooner. There's not a monster I can think of right now where I really need a different elemented weapon or gear to take on, except for a Latrion. We're going to have enough money to do all that here soon anyway. It won't even matter. All right. Well, we're ready for a Puke Puke. All right, chat. It's one o'clock. I got one hour. It would be awesome if within this hour I'm able to get to Master Rank 69 and burn the quest. That'd be fantastic. We will see if that happens. But that's kind of the goal that I'm setting for myself is to get to the region unlock quest by the end of stream today. It really depends on how fast these hunts go. And if we run into any more stuff in Guy Lands. If we do run into stuff in Guy Lands, that's the better alternative. I'd rather do that than just do this. But let's see. Oh my gosh, sorry, dude. Cut that tail like a champ. Alright. I did not do that. I, I wanted to fire my slinger at I did not want to reload that. <laughs> Whee! And we're jumping. Hey! And we're going again. Oh, we're not. Oh, I didn't like the fun of the Okay. All right, I see. Oh. Would you so kindly die, please? Got other monsters to fight. All right, see ya. <laughs> no, 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 stay down. Okay. Trying to load the cannon again. All right. So, chat, what do you think I should do for a weapon for a Latrion? Once we get there, because there's no way we're not getting there at this point. We might not cut the tail off, I don't know. But we're going to give a Latrion a shot. I don't think there's any way we don't. What weapon do you think uh, I build for it? Saffy Ice? Do you think I can get it? I'm gonna have like one chance. Cause I can't farm Saffy. I don't have time to farm Saffy. 
Crossfang maybe? Okay. Crossfang I can farm. That's easy. I don't think I can farm Saffy. That's like a random potential that I get it, and then I can't augment it. I don't know if Saffy Ice is going to be good for this challenge. It'd be good if we weren't doing this challenge, for sure. Crossfang, Switch Axe. I'll have to look into that. Frostfang's what used. Okay. Tempered Frostfang from the event quest. Okay, okay. Hmm, interesting. Didn't Terrorizer with a great start? He did, ex yeah, explosive damage. Yep. Yeah, you could, you can without ice. You don't have to do that for sure. I could do that, right? As long as we can actually get it, then it's fine, you know? It's a lot tougher because you die to Eschaton Judgment no matter what. That's the issue with running uh, no elemental damage, because Eskadon Judgment just guaranteed kills you. <laughs> Only about one elemental file. Does it not have, doesn't it have power files? Does it have to have elemental files for, uh, for Latrion? It has Rai Ra, Great Elemental, and tons of White Shark. The Frostfang one. Oh no! Over here! Over here! Bring him this way! I got 4,000 free damage right over here. Come on over here, Coral. You can do this. Come hang out with me. I'm gonna poke you in the face. Yeah, that's right. Come on over here. I'll show you how it's done. Perfect. Perfect. Easy. Crossing one from the temper. Crossing a minute left. Alright, I'll have to look at it. That means I have to take down a temper frosting very often. Oh man. That's gonna be a tough one. Nice cut. That was great. Oh, get right, dude. <laughs> That'll do. That'll do. Good work, team. Good work. That was fun. Can't go wrong with a fun quest, you know? <laughs> do, 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 do. All right. Pulling straight money bags out of that coral. Okay, okay. <laughs> We're going to sell all this stuff later if we need to. <laughs> I'm actually, I need to do that soon here because I need uh, armor spheres in all my armor. It's not fully upgraded yet. It's pretty close. Fine. So far, we haven't needed it. I'm probably going to save the armor spheres for anything we have to change for the Latrion hunt. We might have to make some armor changes for for Rune or Gigante, though, too, because he hits so hard. We'll see. Yeah, I'm not sure if we're, if we're gonna be okay with this armor or not. It's pretty good armor. We'll see. 65, four more levels. Four more levels. Do we got anything here? Nope. All right. Another chicken. Another, please. Hey, you. Chickens. Chickens. We be fighting some chickens. Okay, 
and then we combine these quick. All right. In we go again. I'll see you guys in the quest. Feel free to jump in. Open invite for chicken hunting. Going to help Tails get to Master Rank 69. Jump in. Oh, I forgot to get shroomies. Whoopsie. Oh, we'll have to make do. That's fine. I come back and there's feathers and blood everywhere. You know it. We're on the uh, the threshing floor right now. <laughs> We're butchering the, the flock. Double chicken squash! Whee! <laughs> I'll take it. Get squashed, dudes. Light them up. Wah! Oh, they both got everybody at the same time. Okay. I thought that I was going to knock the around. That's not what I meant by tenderize the meat. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't think I want to know, Paul. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, no. Ow. Can of cheese, what's up? How we doing, friend? I'm super late what I miss. Can of cheese, it's been one heck of a stream. We just hit tail cut 34. We started at 25 today. We've got nine tail cuts in four hours, which is kind of crazy. I'm now on the master rank grind because I need to get my master rank level 69 so that I can unlock the next region unlock quest for the guiding me. So I'm fighting some chickens. Many, many chickens. And in between, we're cycling through the monsters of the Guiding Lands to see if any new stuff spawn. But we're kind of out of options. There's not very many left. <laughs> Until we get region level 6 and we and we upgrade our Guiding Lands levels. I want to get to level 6 first before I start putting experience in. It. So it's been very good. <laughs> Those are rookie numbers. I'm doing my best, okay, boss? <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's been really good. Hope you're doing well, can of cheese. Can of cheese, I got I got sad news for you, friend. Sad news. I unfortunately will not be able to go to Adepticon. I was looking at it, and I just have too much stuff going on. I can't. I wanted to go. I talked to another YouTube creator about being there, and we were going to meet up, and now I'm not going to be there. I'm let him know. Um, I hope you have an awesome time there, though. I'm excited to hear about it. This game in my honor. I appreciate it. Yeah, I was really looking forward to going, but I, I just can't pull it off. I I know that down the road in future years, I will be going to Adepticon for sure. Um, I really, really want to. It's been on my, on my list for a long time. But this year, I just can't pull it off, unfortunately. All right. It would have been great though too because I've never played a full game of Fort of 40k. I own a bunch of pieces and I went to shops to try to learn from people and I just couldn't find a game. And so I was looking forward to going this year to Depticon so I could pick up the game like I could go play with play testers or other people that are there and just learn it. But I I can't make it, man. I'm I'm sad. Like, I want to go. I really want to go. <laughs> I'm sad that I can't make it. 
It's gonna be a great time. There's a there's a mini painter YouTuber that's in my city. I don't know if you know this guy. His name's Ninjon, N I N J O N, Ninjon. I've been watching him for a few years. Um, and he's yeah, you know him. Okay, okay. Ninjon lives in my city. And I've not met him here before, but he's talked about it on some of his videos that he's from where I'm from. And so I sent him an email uh, a couple weeks ago and I was like, hey, I'm just some random dude. You don't know who I am, but I'm on YouTube as well. And I do Monster Hunter. And, you know, I was only asking if you're going to Adepticon because I'd love to introduce myself to you in person or whatever. And he was like, dude, you're from the same city I live in. Let's go get a burger sometime after Adepticon. I'm like, okay, so I might be hanging out with Ninja on here in a couple weeks. But I wanted to go hang out with him at Adepticon and meet people and all that stuff and learn the game. But I'm not gonna be able to make it. <laughs> so I had a lot I had a lot I was looking forward to and I had plans all set up. Feel bad. My current game is Marvel Crisis Protocol. That's a sweet game. That's a sweet game. My brother has that game. I played it a couple times. That's pretty good. Oh, it's a Trapped Under Plastic. Oh, man, I love Trapped Under Plastic. It's one of my favorite podcasts. It's so good. So I watched Miniac prior to Ninjon. I, I met Ninjon through the Miniac channel. So I watched both of them quite a bit. And their podcast was, when I worked in Wisconsin, that's pretty much what I listened to if I wasn't listening to the live stream, the Trapped Under Plastic uh, podcast. I love it. They're so funny. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah, they're great. <laughs> well, I'm glad you know who they are then. That's pretty fun. If I if I get a chance to meet Ninja on here in town, which it sounds like we're gonna go do a burger sometime, I'll see if I can get a picture with him and I'll share it with you guys. And I know there's a lot of people listening right now, like, Hills, what the heck are you talking about? I do like Warhammer model painting in my free time just for funsies. And uh Ninjon's a creator on YouTube that does mini painting. That's his whole thing. He's very talented. He's a super funny guy too. And he just happens to live in the same city I do. <laughs> I learned about this guy when I lived in Oh man. If I ever get a chance to meet this guy, I'm going to be pumped. So I reached out, and we're giving it a shot. We'll see what happens. <laughs> oh, fun. Well, we're going to get this uh, Coral Puke quickly, and then we'll see if we get more monster the Guiding Lands. We're kind of at the grind part of this challenge, unfortunately. So I apologize in advance if, it's, if it feels samey right now, because I have to get my... My master rank up to 69. We're almost there, but I, I have to put in the reps or it won't it won't level. This is the best way to do it. So please forgive me if it feels if it feels really samey right now. Hey Zethia, how we doing? Good to have you here. Thanks for hanging out. Hope you're doing well. Whoop! It's Ryan. Okay, we're good. I will say, since we are doing a lot of the same old grindy stuff, if there's stuff that you guys want to ask me about, now's a really good time to do it, because I can fight these chickens while having a conversation pretty easily. If we get a monster spawn in the Guiding Lands, I'll have to cut things off for a little bit, but once we get back, it'll be no big deal. So now's the chance. Now's a good chance, I should say. You always have the opportunity to talk with me about stuff, obviously. But I don't have to concentrate near as much as I do for other hunts with this. Oh man, he got zero summed all over. <laughs> Get him again. Whoop. Light him up, everybody. Oh yeah. Nice. Oh my gosh. That one died really fast. Good work, team. That was great. Great work. Good hunt. Hey, Marcia, how we doing? I can be back for 30 minutes, so you're here. There you go. Well, I've, I've got 45 minutes left to stream, so you'll catch most of the end. You all good to go? Hope you're doing well, Marcia. You think in Monster Hunter Wilds they'll have an option to skip this 30 second timer at the end? The 60 second timer? We can just move on, you know? 
<laughs> then I might watch till the end. Sounds good. No pressure. No pressure. Happy to have you. <laughs> ba -ba -da -ba -ba. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we got for mass rank that time. Did I cut your tails the last two hours? Oh, I sure did. Yep. We got Lunastra last. Yeah, we're at nine tail cuts now, a total of 34. 34 done. Kind of crazy. Yeah, it's been really good. It's been it's been a day of luck, mostly. We've gotten so lucky with monsters that have spawned in the Guiding Lands for us today. Don't need those. Okay, back to the chickens. Unfortunately, like I was saying before, we have to fight a bunch of chickens now. Because we need to get our master rank up level 69. Which ones do I have left? Let me pull it up. Let me eat the food quick and then I'll pull up the list. Okay, we've got remaining tails to be cut are, whoopsie, Acidic Lavinus, Alatrion, Black Veil Valhazak, Brute Tigrix, Gold Rathian, Kashala Deora, Runer Nergigante, Safi Jiva, Scarred Yan Garuga, Silver Rathalos, and Velcana. And all of those monsters, except for the Rotten Veil ones, are level five or higher Guiding Lands. Which is why we're upping our master rank right now, so we can unlock those. Hey, mini man, how we doing? If you faint to the guided lands, is your reward money the only thing affected, or do you lose monster material rewards too? You lose monster material rewards, but it's not quantity that you lose; it's rarity. Your chances of getting rare monster parts goes down, but you can still get rare monster parts. You just have a less odds of getting the rare stuff, and your zenny also. Granny ones and even Safi and Latrian. Latrian will be a pain though. You know, I'm. It will, but I think I can do it. I think I can do it. I'm positioned very well for it. Hey, no, we're already 12 jumps, am I right? Yeah, you know it, dude. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> As usual. Alright, we got one. That's fine. <laughs> Nah, 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 nah. All right, there we are. Chat, if you want to jump into these hunts with me, please feel free. There's a session ID posted at the top of the chat that'll get you into my session, and I'm just in a quest. You can just join it. There is room for you. If you're looking to play with me, the invite is open. Music slaps. I love it. It's my, one of my favorite albums that I listen to on here. Yeah, it's good stuff. You gonna come help? Come on in. Come on in. I know you can't. Let's see you cut a lash on tail. I want to be there. You know it, dude. I'm gonna be there. I'm not gonna miss it. <laughs> no, I want to get it. I hope I get it. We got a long ways to go still. That's probably going to be the last tail that we cut. And I feel like I can get there, but I've got a long ways to go still. Let's see what happens. I want to, but I still don't have ice corn. No worries. Another time. Now's the time to get it though, Marcia. I was just talking to the stream earlier. Iceborne just went on sale. It's like 10 bucks. Went on sale on Steam. Oopsie, I didn't mean to reload there. So if you're looking to get Iceborne, it's it's super cheap right now. Really, really cheap. Really, really, really cheap. <laughs> just keep going, oh I will, don't worry. And then when it's all over, we do it all over again with another weapon, you know? <laughs> Keep going. Yeah, yeah, it's 10 bucks. 10 bucks, it's, so the sale goes on until March 21st, I think they said. 
So you just need to find a way to make $10 in the next two weeks, which shouldn't be that bad, you know? Push some snow if you've got snow around you. You can weed gardens, although those are probably early in the season right now, depending on where you're at. Um, as well as like babysitting, childcare. You can clean someone's kitchen. That's a good way to make some money. Talk to a neighbor and see if you can clean their kitchen for 10 bucks. I bet somebody will take you up on it. Easy, easy money. 10 bucks is nothing. Oh, there we go. Next could be insect lab. It could. Already at 4K and hungry. Okay, got it. There you go. Now's the time. I haven't seen it cheaper. It's been the same price as this one other time. I haven't seen it cheaper than this. And I don't know if it will go cheaper than this. $10 for this DLC is pretty insane. So if you're going to get it, if you don't get it now, you're going to have to wait for it to go on sale again, which you can totally do. I'm not trying to pressure you. But I am saying that this is a great time to get it. Because I haven't seen it cheaper. 15? Ah. I didn't know it was 15. I thought it was 10. Because you could buy the Iceborne DLC and the base game for 20. So I figured they just split it into two $10 chunks. And I know the base game is 10 bucks. But. So they got you on the Iceborne cost, unfortunately. <laughs> well, I guess those who are brand new to the series can get both things for 20 bucks. And they, give you, they cut you a deal if you bundle it. <laughs> Either way, 15 bucks is nothing. You can't even get a burger here in the States for 15 bucks. What, all the art deals is like 80 bucks. 15 isn't much. No, 15 is not. Yeah. Well, and it's a six year old game, right? So 15 bucks for a six year old game is still a fantastic price. Right now, Monster Hunter World with Iceborne is 20 bucks on both PC and PlayStation. I don't know about Xbox since I don't play in there. Gotcha. I also do not know. Yeah, it's pretty cheap though. They're running a sale because of the 20 year anniversary this month. And they're doing like a big old stream for the 20 year anniversary on March 20th. They're running a big old sale because of that. Oh, I did another main in the road, you guys. I'm not watching my bar. I don't get the 54% user score. Is the claw really that bad? I don't know. I don't think it's that bad. I don't. I understand why people don't like it, but I. I think the the issue is is the tenderizing that people don't like. I don't think the claw itself people don't like. And I can get that. I'm not in that camp at all. I think tenderizing's fine, but I hope that they make a few minor changes to it down the road. So it doesn't feel like you have to be doing that all the time. But the claw itself, I think, is great. Also, is it hard to clutch claw and wall? Oh, in your, in your uh, in slinger, <laughs> in your slinger, it's not called anything else. You have ammunition in your slinger, and then you just clutch claw into its face when it's not aggravated, and then you can throw it into walls. It's easy. Now, finding the right time to do it can be a pain because you can't just do it whenever you want to. You got to find when you're not going to get counterattacked, but it's not that bad. Hey, nice work, Justin. You hate the clutch laugh? To each their own. And the nice part is you don't have to use it to play the game, which is great. It's not a mandatory part of playing the game. No. Alright, time to Dragon Age. Well, he came right to me that time. That's pretty nice, huh? What a, what a cheery lad he is. Coming right on over here. I 
Ice Bar Monster is sick, yeah, pretty much. They're real beefy. They take a lot of damage, but they're a lot of fun. It's a great DLC. There's only one other DLC that competes with it, in my opinion, and the DLC is the Tiny Tina's Borderlands DLC for D&D. Whatever that, Tiny Tina's Dragon Keep or something like that. That's probably the best DLC I've ever bought. Iceborne's either a close second or or is in first place. It's between those two, for sure. Really good DLCs. Just finished with the pulled pork barbecue chicken. It's still in the crock pot. Mmm, yum. Delicious. Mm. Risk of Rain 2? That's, that's some good DLC, too. I actually never bought the DLC for Risk of Rain 2 because all my buddies had it, so I could play all the stuff. I just didn't get to play the new characters, that's all. Which is fine. I didn't mind. Borderlands 2 mentioned? Oh, dude, Borderlands 2 was my jam. I've played a ton of Borderlands 2 over the years. Yeah, I've got I've got so many hours in that game. I've got more hours in Monster Hunter now at this point. But for for like a decade I had the most hours in Borderlands 2 over any other game. It's a good game. Yeah, Risk of Rain 2 is super fun. I've played a lot of that game too. That was a that was a classic for my friends and I. Favorite survivor? Um Who's Rex? The little robot dude. You like the Merc? Nice. I like the little robot dude that you use your HP to do damage with. It's pretty fun. Monster Hunter Scratch the Sea, which is Borderlands 2. Sort of, yeah. It's similar. The plant one? Yep. Yep. Now you can finally eat. Dude, lucky you. I haven't eaten yet either. I'm excited to eat. You guys are making me hungry. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. We got another chicken to do. You're probably the one monster hunter YouTuber that plays on PC. You think so? I think there's more than that. Heck, Skoy Skull was here earlier. He plays on PC. He played on PlayStation for a little bit too, but I'm pretty sure he plays on PC. Uh, let's see here. What am I looking for? I didn't. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I bless you with my luck. You will get another tail right now. I wish. It didn't work. Good try though, Beta. I'm slowly stealing your luck, but it's gonna be for the next 100 hour challenge, not for this one. <laughs> you don't see any other that you enjoy? I think there's more out there than you assume there is. They might be played on PC with a controller. Hey, there's Skoy, okay. Yeah, Skoy's on PC. Whether they play with a controller or not, that differs. I know I'm one of the few that plays with mouse and keyboard, but there's a lot of people who play on, uh, on uh, PC with a controller. There are times where I wish there was cross save. That'd be nice. I'd love to be able to play from my couch every now and then too. Because <laughs> if you do Latrion as last tail, will you try Fatty? If I've got extra time in the challenge, I might try Fat Fate Down. So. Keyboard Amy is superior. I think keyboard and mouse is superior for me in all ways because I don't I don't know how to use controllers. <laughs> oh, Steam Deck, that would be so good. That'd be awesome. I would love that. You know, play play Moss under bed. That'd be great. Yeah, that'd be super fun. <laughs> Dude, my wife would be so mad if I got one of those. <laughs> Get done streaming for the day. Shut down. Time to go to bed. Pull out Steam Deck. Continue playing. <laughs> and it's got a big bright light. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Funny. Oh, that's a good hit. Nice wall there. I couldn't get into Rise because I got it for the Switch. I understand. I understand. It's a learning curve for sure, and that would be a huge learning curve for me to go to controllers. I've heard people say that controller is superior to mouse and keyboard, and I mean they might be right if they played a lot of console games prior. But I only play PC. I've got a Switch, but I barely play it. I play PC for almost everything. I would be awful with with the uh, controller, but I just don't know how to use. It. The only thing that I miss about having a mouse and keyboard versus a controller, like I, I wish I had some of the more fine movements with my character with a controller, but that's it. Other than that, I like my button setup for my mouse and keyboard. Yeah, 
bet you're even hungrier tails after stream when you look in Discord. I can't wait to see it, dude. Can't wait. Can't wait to see it. I'm considering going and getting a, going and going out to eat and getting food today, even though I shouldn't. There's a new sandwich shop in town that reopened from six years ago, and the restaurant six years ago was the best sandwich shop I've ever had. And I really want to go there and see if the new reopening is the same shop or if they just use the same name. I really shouldn't go though, but I, I'm I'm thinking about it. You can't believe Skoy Skull's here? Skoy Skull's been here for a while. Skoy Skull's been working on his own work stuff and lurking in stream here. It's great. Yeah, Skoy Skull and I had a great conversation on Discord yesterday. It was really fun. Glad we got to hang out. Fun. See what else we can do. You share the recipe with me? Feel free. If you want to send me a DM, Justin, of the uh, recipe, if you want, I'm not pressuring you. Whether you do or not, it's no big deal to me. But if you do, my wife will likely take it and make it. It's only if you want. I will happily take a recipe. We have a uh, Paul around here. Paul made a salmon quiche one night, and my wife was like, that sounds so good. So Paul sent us the recipe, and we're just waiting for the night to make it. <laughs> my wife likes to try new foods, so. Is that my friends? Like to play around PS5? This is Chinese for you? Was the... Did the language settings get flipped for you? Is that what you're saying? I don't quite understand. Tales of Space will call out? We'll see, yeah. We'll see. Probably! We're working on the deets, you know. The deets. See, this is your chance, Tamara. Because you know who Skoy Skull is. This is your chance to say all the really nice things that you want Skoy Skull to hear. Because every time I say his name, his ears perk up, I bet. <laughs> you want Dutch national food? Eat Gouda cheese. Mmm, that sounds tasty. I didn't know that was Dutch food. Today I learned. I know what Gouda is, but I did not know it was Dutch. Is Beta Dutch? Guess we'll find out. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yes, he is. Sorry, I missed some of the stream. I just got back from school today. We had a code blue. It was really scary. Oh, geez. Codes are no good at all. I don't like those in any way. Sorry to hear that you had a scary time at school, man. That sucks. Welcome to stream. It has been very successful today. We're at 34 tails cut. We started at 25. We got nine today, and we're still going. Oh, there's Paul. Paul's Dutch, too, huh? National food is frickin' Dell. Not sure if I pronounced that right, but I'm going with it. <laughs> yeah, here we speak English. Yeah, that's not me being insensitive. I hope you guys understand. Because I want to participate in chat with you guys. <laughs> Buff, are you actually here? Get out of here. You're not here in town. It's Tuesday. <laughs> Don't do that to me, man. I was freaking out. How you doing, Buff? Good to have you. <laughs> Thanks for hanging. No, not really, but imagine. That's why I was worried. I was like, wait a second. I know you went home. There's no way he's back in town on a weekday. Not a chance. <laughs> Don't call out my ear perking. <laughs> my bad, Squid. <score. laughs> Actually thinking that two days ago it was like 30. 25 now, like 37, 8, 9 is the same how lucky you were. Yeah, two days ago we were not even above 20. I think it went from like 0 to 9 to 16 to 25 or something like that. And we've been very lucky today for sure. <laughs> You're from Nambia and speak Africans? Oh wow, cool. Yeah, it's been we've been very lucky. I agree. Some of the luck today too has been the lures that we've gotten from this chan from this challenge, not channel, 
challenge. <laughs> the lures that we earn while we're in the guiding lands from the uh, the analysis thing, the analysis tracker, we can use those to spawn in monsters and get tails. We cannot use the melder and make our own lures because that's that's lame. <laughs> but we can use the lures that we earned while we were in the guiding lands, and we got two tails today that were from those lures. We got Namiel and Black Diablo. This is amazing. Well, we got Lunastra and Teostra and Elder's Recess. That was lucky because I didn't know they could spawn there. And so I was going to start leveling down the Elder's Recess in favor of other areas. But getting those off the list is awesome. Got those taken care of. Regular Templar. For the Namiel, it was regular. Yeah. But still, I'll take it. <laughs> it was great. All right, I'm going down. Down, down. In an earlier round. Come on down here. Yeah, come on. All right, we got one, that's fine. I just missed. You didn't follow? Didn't follow with what? What aren't you following on? Hey, Cot, how we doing? This makes me want to try the raging, raging fight solo. I need to catch up on my friend. Do it! Raging Rajang is really tough. The Furious Rajang. Tough hunt. But man, when you get it... Oh, it feels good. It feels good to conquer that hunt, for sure. I just realized you might have Bracky Armor and Axe. I do. I have the Raging Brachydeos Armor and the, the Light Break Axe. Yep. I was able to take down that quest like two streams ago, and it has been instrumental in my run because I have so much damage right now. It's insane. Yeah. The lures? The lures we got... So the way the lures work in the Guiding Lands, you can use a lure to call out a specific monster that you want to hunt. And you earn lures while you do stuff in the Guiding Lands. When you break monster parts or when you clear missions and stuff like that, you earn lures for monsters. You can go to the Elder Melder in town and turn in monster parts from the Guiding Lands for specific lures. And to me, that that's against the spirit of the challenge because we're not trying to just call in the monster that we need to cut the tail of. That's too easy. So we don't get to meld lures. But if we earn the lure by and we randomly get the lure from the Guiding Lands by doing the analysis progression, then we can use those lures. That's what I'm doing. Last stream, you got the axe. I, yeah, it might have been the stream before, actually, but yeah. Play any older Monster Hunter games? No, this is my first one. I want to. I want to get around to them someday. I'm not in a rush, though. It's going to be great. We'll get around to them at some time, point. They'll hold up over time. They'll be good. One more. We're going to get there. One more. What's going to be the next 100-hour weapon? Well, we... Just pat. Oh, I forgot to tell that, guys. We hit 30, and I didn't even tell you what happens at 30. We got past 30 tail cuts in the game. And so now everyone on YouTube, I'm going to put a poll out on my YouTube channel to vote for what the next weapon's going to be. But I will do that later. We will not do that today. But I have unlocked the ability for you all to be able to vote on the next 100-hour challenge. Don't need those. So we'll find out. I'll put the weapons in the poll on YouTube. On a, on a thing there, and I'll announce it in the stream and on the Discord and everything when that goes up, so you guys have plenty of time to vote on it. And then when the vote's done, that's the weapon that we'll do next. Julio, what's up? Just passing by to drop my like as everyone here should. <laughs> Thanks, Julio. You cost, uh, you're tossing a coin to the Witcher. I appreciate that. <laughs> Julio, hope you're having a good day. Thanks for the like on the video and for saying hi. I appreciate it. <laughs> All right. Teresa, what's up? How you doing? Oh, no, I don't understand this. Uh Oh, what don't you understand? I can help you out. Hit me. I'm a good question answerer. <laughs> I'm doing great. I was so hyped when you started this 100 hour challenge for the swags and I watched the first stream and it was like eight hours long. Yeah, I know it's super long. 
Kotgun, I got you. I got you covered, okay? Because I've been thinking about this. We talked about this on stream earlier today, but now I get to reveal the fruits of my thinking to you. The streams are super long, and I totally understand that. They take forever to watch. So I've decided that on Fridays, I'm going to do my best to release a video of what happened in the streams. So you get to see the highlights. They'll be like 20, 30 minute videos max. It'll go through what happened on stream so that you can keep up with the 100 hour challenges. So this Friday, three days from now, is episode one. And it's gonna be the very first stream for the Switch X challenge, getting through low rank. So go through all the highlights that happened during that stream. And you can catch up all on all of it in 30 minutes. And next week Friday, I'm in the middle of making that video. Next week Friday will be episode two. And it'll go through what happened on our progression through high rank. And so I'm gonna do that all the way through the 100 hours so that people who can't watch the live streams because they're really, really long can get all the, you know, the juicy parts of the challenge and catch up on them. Ooh. Okay, we got one, that's fine. <laughs> don't forget water and stretch. Thanks, friend. I'll do my best. I gotta get water after stream. I don't have any here with me right now. I'll be doing that when I get lunch as well. Is Skoy Skull still here? We'll find out. I've summoned. I've summoned Skoy Skull. <laughs> That's my favorite Elder Dragon. Namiel. Love Namiel. I was happy to see Namiel in the top 20 on the uh, best monsters in the franchise vote that went up. That was a good one. And yeah, Namiel's great. Hey, Vakura, how we doing? Welcome back. Good to have you. How the heck did that not hit Kulu? I have no idea. Yeah. That wall was real close, but it wasn't close enough, apparently. Whoop. I honestly have no problem with them being eight hours long, but sometimes it's hard to find the time to consume work and keep the house from collapsing. I understand completely. What I was saying with uh, stream hours is I want to watch other people do live streaming too. I don't get a whole lot of opportunities to listen to live streams because I don't have the time either. I love watching the highlight videos from people because I can catch up on what they've been up to on live stream. So I decided it's about time I do the same thing. So. Can Swax stun? Yes. There are Swaxes that have exhaust files and you can use the exhaust files and do boxes. Oh, my summon worked. <laughs> Skoy, sorry to bother you so much, friend. <laughs> I know you're busy. <laughs> okay, let's see here. I knew if it was underwater combat, ever comes back. Now I'm gonna should have been underwater fight if it's a, it's a shark. I agree that there should have been underwater combat with Namiel or that there should be at some point because it puts up a pretty good fight out of water it's got to put up an even better fight in water. It has to, right? But I don't think it's a shark. <laughs> I think it's a coral and jellyfish mix. I am Ghosty. What's up? How we doing? Have I played any other Monster Hunter games? Nope, it's my first one. Unless you count Monster Hunter Now. I've played Monster Hunter Now. I don't know if I count Monster Hunter Now as a full-fledged Monster Hunter game. It's a great app. It's fantastic. But I have not played any other Monster Hunter mobile or console game. I love the art st and style of Nami. Me too. Me too. It's so good. It's such a great monster. I'm a big sucker for Thunder Element though, so it, it had me there to begin with, you know. But yes, it is a wonderful monster. No worries, sounds good. I'll try to keep it down, okay? But... <laughs> Whoop. Y'all, uh, if you don't know, Skoy School is a creator here on YouTube. Does Monster Hunter content. Has been making Monster Hunter content for, for a long time. Very knowledgeable about the games and enjoys the games a lot. If you like what I do, you probably like Skoy School stuff too. Go check out his channel and subscribe to it. He's a good dude. Oh. Me too, 
Gunner's like one of the best elements. Agreed. Agreed. Now I'm underwater sounds absolutely terrifying, right? I think so too! <laughs> So for those that done that don't know Rise Sunbreak are on sale for PSN Story. Yes, Rise and Sunbreak are on sale and so are World and Iceborne. And Stories, I think. I think Stories are on sale too. I think you can get a whole bunch of Capcom games for really cheap right now. Like they have a big bundle that's 70% off everything in it or something like that. I can't remember. But there's some huge sale with, with uh, Capcom games right now. I'm gonna sharpen this quick. Both games are forty bucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. If I if I had the time, this would be the time where I'd go buy all of those Monster Hunter games right now, just to sit in my library so I can get through them again later. I just don't have the time or the cash to do it, but at some point I'm gonna get them. It's a really good sale right now. <laughs> for you, it was an awful experience for me since I had the fear of the unknown in the ocean. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I, I've heard underwater combat is an interesting thing in general. And I also have a, what's it called? It's called Thassalophobia, right? Fear of the deep or whatever. I went to the, I went to the ocean with my wife for vacation one time and we were gonna do a scuba diving, you know, go check out the sunken ship and go swimming around in it. And I was like, babe, I that sounds really cool, except you're gonna have to do it solo because I'm just too scared to go underwater and scuba dive. <laughs> Not built for that. <laughs> just sent the recipe on Discord. Oh, baby, my wife's gonna be pumped. Sounds good. Oh, okay, I saw your friend request. I'll take care of that, Justin. Thank you. Wonderful. Sounds good. Here goes Iceborne. Heck yeah. We got another one, Marcia. Welcome. Oh, the timing was impeccable there. Gosh, dude, I've done this mission too many times. <laughs> Sounds good, Justin. We'll do it. We'll do it. Thanks, friend. That's really nice of you. I'm looking forward to it. Oi. Mood, yeah, dude. <laughs> I feel you. I feel you. We ended up going deep sea fishing on that trip instead of scuba diving, which was the best decision we made because we both loved it. And we caught nothing, but we loved it. Ooh. Oh my god. Okay. Woo! There we go. Fast hunt. Nice job, everybody. What are you hunting for in this? What are you hunting for in this mish? In this mission? We're going for uh, Master Rank. We're going to get enough, hopefully, with this mission to get to Master Rank 69. When we get to 69, we can do the region unlock quest for the Guiding Lands. And once we get the region unlock quest, then we can get to Guiding Lands region level six, which allows us to hunt more monsters in the Guiding Lands, yeah. So we're just doing it for the Master Rank. It's a pretty quick way to get Master Rank in the game is this quest. Weren't you a 2000 year old dragon? Me? That'd be fun, but no. Yeah, yeah. I was waiting for that buff. I was waiting for that. <laughs> I was waiting for that. Took a nap when I missed, dude. We cut off so many tails this this stream, Amelia. We're at 34 tails cut off. We got nine this stream. We're also gonna do the region unlock quest this stream, which is great. That's our next mission, assuming we hit 69 here. <laughs> yeah, the duel got it too. Oh, you guys, look at this! That's amazing. I gotta save that. The screenshot's amazing. That's like me in a nutshell, cutting tails off monsters. Fantastic. <laughs> I just finished farming silver gold tempered for armor. Nice, congrats. That's awesome. Oh, I got the screenshot. I'll put it in Discord later. That's a great screenshot. <laughs> okay, did that get us there? Oh, look how close it is. We're not gonna get there to the stream, bummer. I have to fight one more monster. 
All right, let's see if we got anything in the guiding lands. Otherwise, we're doing chicken again. Nope, chicken time. One more chicken. I've been waiting for you. All right, chicken time. Another one. Another one. And we'll eat a food. All right, last mission, y'all. You definitely need to try Great Sword for the Deal Cuts. Someday, yes. Someday. <laughs> Another one, exactly. I know that meme. Another one. I can't say it like him, though. I'm not that skilled. <laughs> All right. Man, we have fought chickens today. Holy cats. Holy chickens. No worries, Bruce. You don't have to apologize. So this stone sounds good. Did my music just end? Music, come back. Nope, okay, you got another one. Good, good. Wait, so next stream, big tail cuts incoming? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we gotta get the the region on that quest done. Then we're gonna be leveling up the Guiding Lands regions and cutting off tails as they come along. But we can finally advance to level six in the Guiding Lands, which will unlock more monsters for us to cut the tails off of. There's a chance that we get, we're not gonna get nine next stream. I, I highly doubt we get nine next stream. But there's a chance that we get like six, depending on how things go. That's my expectation. And if we beat that expectation, I'm all for it, obviously. But we have we have to get the regions to level six. So we've got a lot of work to do there. But once we get to level six, it's like cake after that. We just cycle the berries. If we get those tails done really quickly, the only thing we have left to do it will be Runer Nergigante and then Latrion, which means we'll have to fight some more chickens for a while. But we're not going to do much chicken fighting next stream until we have all the other tails cut. Alright. Excited to try Dual Blades because you said you love it so much. Turns out I'm not that bad at it. Hey, not bad. I'm glad to hear. Dual Blades is, is awesome. There's something about being able to dodge every attack with pretty much every like move you pull off, you're able to dodge. Not every weapon gets to do that. Like hardly any weapons get to do that, but dual blades do. And I love that feeling a lot. Dodging things is awesome. <laughs> so, that's yeah, a good time. Maybe great swords in the next hundred hours? Maybe, we'll see. Oh, I just did a, I did, I did nothing. You saw nothing. <laughs> You guys want me to tell you what the next three weapons on the list are going to be? You guys want to know? When Wilds comes out, will you still main build or main something else? You know, Justin, you opened up a little can of beans with me. Can of worms. Can of worms. Can of beans something else. I don't, I don't say that I main weapons. I know that I'm best with the dual blades, but I'm not a dual blade main. That's why I'm doing these 100 hour challenges because I want to learn all of them. So I'm not a main, but I will likely play dual blades in the new game. I don't know if I'm going to start with them or not. I kind of want to see more about wilds before I make decisions on what's going to happen. Because there's, there's one argument to say I should play a brand new weapon in the brand new game and, and really make an experience out of it, you know? Versus playing something comfortable and then playing the brand new game because it'd be hilarious to watch me struggle with the weapon and the game at the same time. I think that's funny. But we'll see. I don't know. I'm not sure. But I do really like Dual Blades a lot. Yeah, I th I'm a Dual Blades. If I had to rank everything right now on what I like, Dual Blades is the top weapon that I enjoy. But I don't just play Dual Blades all the time. I honestly, like I said, I, I do these weapon shots because I want to learn them all because when I play... When I do like community days with you guys and I, when we do community hunts with my main account, I want to be able to swap builds every hunt and play a different weapon. That's what that's why I'm doing this. I want to have variety in the weapons that I use for hunts. So I don't like to, I don't want to main something. I want to learn them all. <laughs> I did Runer Nergigante yesterday for the first time. He was hard. Oh man, Runer is so fun. I think Lunastra is harder than Runer Nergigante. We got Lunastra taken care of. Runer's gonna be a hypey fight, by the way. I think it's gonna be awesome. 
We'll see how it goes. <laughs> oh, you want me to tell you what the next one's gonna be, or what the vote's gonna be between? You want you want some secret information of what the next weapon might be, huh? Or what the vote for the next weapon might be, huh? Temper the Nostra? No, it was just a regular one. Temper the Nostra is super tough. But regular Blue Nostra is also awesome. Seems to be a pattern where he chooses the weapons for most of the least difficult. That was all by random chance. Remember, Charge Blade was the weapon I picked. Hunting Horn was the weapon the community picked. That was a vote. I didn't pick it. And Switch Axe, the community also picked. Because the on the Hunting Horn challenge vote, we had Hunting Horn, Greatsword, and Sword and Shield as options. And the Hunting Horn was what was voted on. For the Switch Axe, it was Greatsword, Sword and Shield and Switch Axe, and the Switch Axe got picked. So that's two times now that the Sword and Shield and Great Sword have been on the list and it didn't get picked. <laughs> I think people just don't want me to play the Great Sword or the Sword and Shield, mostly. <laughs> I didn't pick the last two weapons. I only picked the Charger Blade. That was the only weapon I picked. That was before I was doing live streams. Is there a tempered of every monster? No. Most of them, though. People just want to watch you struggle. <laughs> Story of my life, man. <laughs> hey, Pierre, how we doing? Good to have you here. Pierre, you came at the wrong time, unfortunately, because this is my last hunt. <laughs> but I'm glad to have you here. I'll have to catch you in the next one. And there's a VOD that goes up right when stream ends. You can catch, up, catch what we did today. So what's this list of three weapons you might be doing in the next one? Okay. So you want to know... Well, the sad news is, chat, that I'm not going to tell you until next stream. <laughs> next stream is on Saturday, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. And I will tell you next stream. <laughs> Baited you in so hard there. Yeah, sorry, it's going. <laughs> next. <laughs> yeah, so sorry, y'all. So sorry. <laughs> next stream, I will let you know what the three options are. We won't start the vote yet. We're going to start the vote probably closer to the last stream that we do for this challenge. Because I don't want the vote running for like weeks and weeks. I want to give people a chance to vote. Uh, and, and know what it is. But I will tell you, because you watch stream, I will give you a... And this, is, this includes all the people who watch VODs too. I know there's people here watching the VODs who are not here for the live stream. You also get to know because you're watching the VOD. I will let you know ahead of time what the three on the vote are going to be. And then when we put the vote up, I'll, re I'll let you know when that is. So vote between the three, okay? Saturday, that's good. Sounds good. I'm starting at 9 a.m. Saturday. I probably won't tell you right away on Saturday. It'll probably be within the first hour. Oh, it's laying down. We got to get it. We got to get it. How's the time? I'm so <laughs> No, Paul, please! That wasn't the intention. <laughs> All right. Come on over here. Come on over here, ya, ya goofy parrot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Perfect. Wonderful. Wonderful. That's what I can see. <laughs> I made a character the other night doing Greatsword Run. Nice. That's awesome. Have you played Greatsword before? First time? Just curious. I don't know how that benefits us anyways. <laughs> it benefits you because you get time to think about and rally the people around what weapon you want me to play next. Versus everyone else will have to find out, you know, whenever I just put the vote up and just make it work. That's where the benefits are. So for example, okay, I'm gonna use three weapons already done because you guys are gonna think I'm gonna give you the three weapons now. If I were to put a vote up that said, Charge Blade, Hunting Horn, Switch Axe, pick between these three, and I tell you next week Saturday, you can rally everybody around the community and say, we're all going to vote for Charge Blade because we want to see them play it. Right? That's the benefit you get of knowing ahead of time versus everybody else. I'm calling it now Great Sword. Sword and Shield Bow is the vote. But we'll see. We'll see. Sword and Shield, please. Give them a good weapon for once. <laughs> the Switch Axe is a great weapon. Charge Blade's great. They're all great weapons. I had fun with all of them. They're fantastic. 
I've played it before. I enjoy it. Really got the basics now. Diving in to learn it. Nice, Pierre. Good, good. Glad to hear. That's super fun. All right. Let's see here. To learn, I'm a CB main. Ah, oh, I got it. Okay, I got you. I thought you meant just the weapon's good in general. <laughs> All right, here's the moment of truth. Good. Okay. We didn't miss out on anything there. All right, chat. I got to do this before I ruin everything. And then we do this. Hey, chat. It's fun. Had a great day today. We got so lucky today, chat. We got so lucky. We started at 25 tail cuts at the start of stream. We ended with 34. That's nine tails, right? And it's not nine, you know, common monster tails because we're moving up the ranks of what we spawn in. It's been awesome. We also hit Hunter rank 69, which will unlock for us next stream, the Guiding Lands region level cap. So we'll be able to get to Guiding Lands at quest. Then I will tell you all about what the three weapons on the next vote will be. We'll do that as, at the beginning of stream next week. And then we'll get into the Guiding Lands again, get up to level six for the levels, for the regions, and then cut off some more tails. We have 12 tails left, and they're all big ones, man. They're big ones. So we'll see how it goes. Thank you for hanging out with me, to, with me today. Thank you, new subscribers to the channel. So glad to have you as part of the Bales Goon Squad. Thanks for joining in. If you uh, became a, a member today or donated the channel, I appreciate that as well. Thank you for your financial contributions. It makes a big difference in me being a full-time content creator. That's what the whole goal is here. So I appreciate y'all. Can of Cheese says, like the stream before it ends. If you want to do that, I would love to have that too. Thanks, y'all. <laughs> y'all are fantastic. I appreciate you very, very much. Thank you for hanging out with me today. It truly is a highlight of my day to hang with you guys. So have a fantastic one. I will catch you in four days, Saturday, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time, and we will continue. Oh my gosh. And Paul with the cutoff. Paul, dude, what a pal. Jeez, Paul. Paul, thank you for the gifted memberships. That's super kind of you. Y'all, if you got gifted a membership by Paul, if you could say thanks to him in the chat, that'd be super helpful and kind to him. For those who are here and don't know Paul, Paul, are we close to 150 gifted memberships now? It's something like that. Some huge amount of gifted memberships from Paul. Thank you so much, Paul. You're such a goat. And for those who just got gifted memberships, uh, enjoy your new punchy emotes on stream. And you can also join the Discord. There's a supporter chat and everything for you on there for being a clearly better hunter. You just got to link up your Discord and your YouTube together. It's pretty sweet. So, Jeez Louise. Unbelievable. Paul, you're such a good dude. I appreciate you so much. Thank you very much for that. <laughs> can't believe it all right gosh guys this is so fun i'm so glad we got to hang out today thank you very much thank you thank you for making my day just love it love you guys a lot y'all take it easy enjoy your day i will catch you in the discord we can hang out between now and next stream and i'll see you on saturday live stream and here to cut off tails with everybody okay have a good one i'll see you later goodbye <laughs>